PP Barlet, welcome. Get this advertised on all the social medias. Let people know I'm playing. Oh no, I've not changed what game I'm playing. All the information's wrong. I'm so rubbish. Oh, that's better. <laughs> pew, pew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble, Grub. BBC, London. It's good, isn't it, where it kicks in? I do like it, the music. The rumours? What rumours? All oh, the rumours. Yes! <laughs> First coast round. Bash. I am a real cat. Welcome. Man, I'm sweaty. Very unpleasant. <laughs> I was baited by the third. I'm a sweaty dog. Betty today. So the question is, do we put clothes on before we fight Gamma, or do we do it in our underwear? Big Dave Worthington, welcome. We always fight Gamma in our underwear from now on. No clothes needed. Boys, get this man a oh, I just kicked Kelly Cam. Oh, just hit the mic. It's all going wrong. Everything's going wrong. And here is Kelly. Debbie, welcome. Where are my donuts? Hello. How are we all? I hope we are all good. Hopefully I've clicked the button and we're on the right scene now, but Kelly's butt is in the way, so it's hard to tell. Let me just unpause the game. Continue. Right, I think it's a little bit quiet, so we just have to go to um, config. Let's go to audio. That doesn't appear to be doing anything. That's weird. Hmm. Why is it so quiet? 
Man. Very strange. I don't know why the game's so quiet. Pastel Paths, welcome. Okay. Okay, I can do it this way. It does mean like all of the alerts going to be a little bit louder as well. But there you go. Right, how are we all today? I hope we are all good. I would go to Kelly Cam, but she's already left. I'm going to go to Kelly Cam's. Look, see, I do own the game. I own the game. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, okay. How are we? We're going to play in English, I think. There we go. I think the background music was just quiet here. So how is everyone's Saturday going? Hopefully it's all going well. You have a message from the Aloan region's own professor. Cookie. Cookie you. Cookie you. How do we say his name? <laughs> why am I asking text? Because <laughs> why am I asking chat? Because you can only type it. Drinking green tea. I am. I am drinking green tea. Ooh, healthy drink on the go. Yes. How does the hydrate work? You, you'll just get, like, a water hydrate. Okay, we're going for a special hydrate already. Here we go. BP Violet, thank you for the hydrate. There we go. That's one hydrate done already. Need to finish my doodle today. So that's on my to-do list. Awesome. Oh, I need to make like, I need to food prep as well today. That's, that's on my to-do list. Going to do a little bit of food prep after this stream before marbles. And then the rest of the food prep after marbles. You're still at your girlfriend's. <gasps> Why are you watching me then? <laughs> Go play with the girlfriend. Hang on now. Give me just a sec. Hi there. Good evening. So the day has finally come when you're moving to Alola. I think it's a little bit loud now. Turn it down a bit. I think it was just the music at the beginning was really quiet. Gemma, welcome. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah? I'm at work, very tired. I'm sorry, Gemma. You have to do the cat litter. Ew, stinky cat litter. <laughs> There's no sort shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola re either. Such mysterious creatures. You'll find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and in the sea. Oh, let me just check one more thing. Config. Uh, graphics. Oh, we're all good. We're at five times resolution, so that's nice. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps, too. Yeah, hopefully you've not got too much longer left, and you can go home and start shooting things on Fortnite to take your emotions out on. Like, die, Fortnite players! Some of us even battle with them. And if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers... That's not unique to Alola. Um, Rockruff, Cutiefly, I'll play with you later. So call your jets. Aww, how do you play with Cutiefly? What do you think you need to do? <laughs> All right, I've got to ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? The weather is so hot here. It's got on quite warm here, actually. It was quite, like, cool this morning, but... This afternoon, it's definitely warmed up. Right, which photo looks like me? There we go. Yeah, I am okay with that one. <laughs> All right, then. I'll let you spell out your own name for me. Aha. Spelling out my own name. I'm using the mouse to do this. Because the mouse kind of replaces the stylus. I don't think you can see the mouse though on this. Ninkeso. 
None of them. To be fair, none of them did look like me. Oh, there we go. That's why I've gone for this one. <laughs> so, you go by Ninkeso. I do. I do go by the name Ninkeso. Oh, hot. 10 4, good buddy. I'm not your good buddy. <laughs> I'm not your good buddy. I'll let everyone out here know you're on your way. Ninkeso. Yeah, that's a, that's a name that hits like a drop kick right to the head. What's a drop kick? Heard of a drop kick? Not a drop kick. Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. I ain't your cousin either. Bye. Bye, Professor Kuki. Whatever your name was. Yeah, that looks like your double. <laughs> yeah, if I had a wig on, it would be perfect. Ninkeso, come, he come help me. Ninkeso, come help me with these boxes. The dog thing is cute. What the rock, the rock cuff, the rock cuff thing. I can't remember what it was called. Rock rough, rock rough. That's what it was. Okay, so I'm playing this on the PC. Um, I do have a um, upgraded texture pack on it as well, so it should look pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. <laughs> and it also runs a lot better than last time I tried to play it. It shouldn't. We shouldn't have any problems with how it runs. Pokemon Ultra Moon. So I've only ever played about an hour of this game. Is there someone in this game that you'll be saying, nobody cares? Very probably. You normally get someone in a Pokemon game that nobody cares about. <laughs> Oh, Meowth. It's a Meowth. I like Meowth. I'm not sure I like a lower Meowth as much. Ventosaurus, welcome. It's not just Moon. It's Ultra... Exactly. It's the sequel to Pokemon Moon. Pokemon Ultra Moon. Which is basically exactly the same game, just with, like, more content. And before anyone asks... Yes, I do own the game. <laughs> Uh, Phil isn't in this game, no. Ah, oh, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under L Alola's calm moon. Do you think if we played um, Ultra Sun version, she'd be like, ah, oh, is there anything more soothing than the first day under the hot, hot Alolan sun? <laughs> the first evening spent under Alola's calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. Uh, but that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get an Inkeso for me, would you? Meow. That's just the box you're showing us. Fine. Fine. Okay. I will open the box. Da -da 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 Inside the box, we have a still, still box that I've never used and Pokemon Ultra Moon. And it's still in its shrink wrap. It's still in its shrink wrap because I've never played it. <laughs> so there we go. Proof. Proof that I own the game. An unopened Pokemon Ultra Moon. I bet that's probably worth quite a bit, actually. You know I need to see real proof. That was real proof. I'm not opening the shrink wrap just to show you the copy of the cartridge. If the cartridge isn't in there, that's not my fault. That's the um, production people. Gemma, thank you for the bits. Time. I just love a bit of monkey. Three, four, five, six, Nobody seven, cares, hop, the rest. Phil, whoever. Nobody cares, hop, feel, whoever. <laughs> yeah, who is going to be the one we don't care about in this game? I can show you the cartridge for Pokemon Moon, because I have opened that and played it. Oh, Kelly's on the floor rubbing her head against one of her toy mice. How are you playing it if it's unopened? Um, I'm playing it as an I'm playing it on an emulator. 
you can't play 3DS games on TV. You can only play it in handheld. So this is the only way to play a 3DS game. Ventasaurus, we don't know if the cartridge is in there. This is true. But I would assume it is. <laughs> I would assume it is. Someone bought it for me for my birthday, so, you know. Oh, I'm getting up. Hey, meow. Meow. Is there a run button? Oh, look at that. I got a Nintendo Switch and everything. It's a games console. You can even take outside and play. Wow. Oh, look at my Snorlax doll. A Snorlax cushion. It is said to be ruinously comfy that you could waste away your whole life lazing about on one. But if you're playing a 3DS game, how comes it's in 2D on my screen? Um, to be fair, the majority of this game is in 2D. It was only ever the battles that were in 3D. And obviously it would play on the 2DX as well. The 2DS, which was a non-3D 3DS. I want to see Meowth in my living room. Free. Fine. Okay. You're saying that, aren't you? You're saying, like, I want to see this. And you're, you're just, like, joking with me. But... There you go. It's now in 3D on my screen. <laughs> if I had a headset on, it would actually be 3D. <laughs> You're saying, but I don't have a headset. All I've got is those... Or we have it in, in interlace 3D. There you go. There's that as well. <laughs> Conf Ooh, let's just put it back to normal. Um, so yeah, you can actually set it up so you can play this on a headset in 3D. <laughs> the Snorlax chair looks hella comfy. I know you can waste away your life it's that comfortable. Um, the new coat rack your mum bought for you. The thing is, I know I'm going to have to come back and put that on. It's my mum. Sorry, mom. It's not mum, mom. You were out like a light, weren't you? Yeah, and it's the middle of the night and you've woken me up. You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already night here. Exactly, so why... Okay, question. Why is my mum waking me up at night time? <laughs> What's going on? Spoilers. What spoilers? It's completely the opposite of Kanto. But then we are so far away here in Alola. So, Ninkeso, are you excited to meet some meet some Alolan Pokemon? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you. Someday you're going to learn to have a little wonder in your life. We're living in the Alola region now. The beautiful island everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? It might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself. Yeah, it's the middle of the night, Mum. You're just not safe. <laughs> see for yourself. Just how friendly the Pokemon here are. Right, Ninkeso? Go and get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat and things should be hanging in your coat stand in your room. I know I tried to pick them up, but you wouldn't let me. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventuring Rules on your desk too? Fine. Right, let's get my hat and coat. Not coat, hat and bag. Thanks. Mom, it's 3am. I'm not in the mood to meet new Pokemon. That may very well... Exactly. <laughs> It's like, oh, they must be friendly. Go outside and meet them. It's the middle of the night, but still, do it anyway. Look at her laughing at me. She's like, I'll just set my kid off to get killed. <laughs> now, you look ready for anything. <gasps> That's why she's moved to Alola. She's like, on the first night, if I get my child eaten by a Pokemon, no one will know that I was meant to have a kid. I can be rid of the vile thing. <laughs> oh, but even so, in case so. Try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit that I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. 
why don't you head up toward Iki, um, Iki Town and see what you discover in Alola. Wow. Oh, my green tea's at that temperature where I have to drink it. If it gets any cooler, it will start tasting really vile. <laughs> oh, I forget about the run button. Why can't I use the car? I didn't know they had cars in the Pokemon world. It's your mum's beloved surfboard. She brought it all the way from Kanto with her. Mum... It's got a right shoe on it. My mum's a surfer, dude. You shooty stars. Quick, drink up. I know. I know. We're at that crucial moment. Watch it, cuz. It's dangerous to get too close to a Pokemon while it's using one of its moves. Rough. Fine, we'll go this way then. Was that a McCrow? Oh. Right, green tea, green tea drunk, everyone. Nope, can't go this way. That is a McCrow, isn't it? You can go with me. If you dash with B, what do you think of my song? I think it's rubbish. <laughs> Just like... Route one. Nope, can't go down there. Well done, thank you. The power of science is amazing. You can enjoy a festival with people from around the world without taking a step. Every day is a festival when you can do that. Right, <laughs> okay. Something is coming at you from the tall grass. Oh my God. Something's attacking me. It's a little angry ferret thing. <laughs> it's gonna bite my ankle. <laughs> wow, it's like a han honey badger. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, he's cute. Oh, look who it is. Is little Kelly. Whoo! Whoo! Wow! Walk, walk! What a weird noise. Walk! He's so angry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, look at the little Pokemon. Look at the little things. Ah, oh, these are cute too. <laughs> hey there, cousin. Put a t-shirt on. It's night time. You'll catch a cold. Hang on. I know you. You're an Inkeso, right? You okay? I saw you get attacks like that. I was scared spitless. <laughs> I'm gonna be a wuss. I'm gonna be a moany wussy in this game. Yeah, I was scared spitless. You and me both, cousin. I'm looking after these Pokemon, but they dashed right out on their own to save you. But I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola. The, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Cookie. Cookie. I'm, I don't even know how to say this guy's name. Cookie. 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 Cook you. Cookie you. <laughs> cookie. I'm Cook. Yeah. If anyone can, like, put phonetically how to say this guy's name, please do it in the chat. The Pokemon Professor. People and Pokemon live and work together here in Alola. Don't you ever forget. You can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you've got a Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass. Cuckooey. Cuckooey. Thank you, Pastel Puffs. Cuckooey. Cuckooey. Okay. Wild Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass, yeah? Just waiting to leap out and bite you. Why isn't he named after a tree like all the other Pokemon professors? But you'll be fine if you've got a partner Pokemon of your own. Hey there. Here, let me introduce the Pokemon that helped you just now. This is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. I like where he does a little turn. And the fire type Pokemon, Litten. 
Wow. Oh, you didn't do a nice little pirouette for me. Not as impressed. And the water type Pokemon. Poplio. Brock? I don't like the noise you make. You go, Brock? <laughs> you see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Woo! <laughs> hey, maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on. Go on and choose one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. Hmm. Who are we going to choose? Why don't you go ahead and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner? I quite like Rowlix. It did a little pirouette for me. Look, at it's doing it again. It's doing it again. I'm going for Rowlix. Ooh, look at it. Look at it doing a little turn. Rowlix can fly up on its enemies real quiet like, yeah? Catch them by surprise. So, you want to go with the Grass-type Pokemon, Rowlet? Yes. Yes, I do. Bet everyone thought he's going to go for the Cat Pokemon. <laughs> no, not today. I do have all of the Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield, though. <laughs> Look at the feet when he does the turn. You chose Rowlet. Would you like to... Yeah, I would like to give Rowlet a nickname. We are going to call Rowlet Nin... Nin Huto. <laughs> this is the best name ever, Nin Huto. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't pick the cat Pokemon, though. Yeah, but I couldn't have called the cat Pokemon Nin Huto. <laughs> Nin Huto has been added to your party. It's making me laugh. <laughs> I need a moment to calm down. Whew. So you went with Rowlet. Woo! What a fine looking team you two are. Now that you can have Pokemon battles, you're what we call a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Here's a Pokeball for Rowlet too. It should feel nice and cosy in there. Do you mean, by nice and cosy, do you mean cramped? <laughs> All right, let's get going to Icky Town in Queso. Woo! Does it grow? Yeah. All of these Pokemon have like three, uh, two more evolutions. Time to meet the Island Kahuna. But why? <laughs> Ninhuto. Gemeth Gate cheered. X10. Ninoto. Thank you so much for the bits. Ninhuto. Monkey time. I love a bit of monkey. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can't remember the rest. And that's how it has to be said. It's not Ninhuto. It's Ninhuto. <laughs> Truth is, the partner Rowlet of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. So let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cousin. I'm not your cousin. It may not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas... <laughs> Are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. <laughs> Sorry, but Kahunas mean something else as well. Um, be careful about getting into a battle with one. <sighs> Never. Never. Icky Town is right up here. Though, the way the woman said, Ninhuto. <laughs> Ninhuo. <laughs> She's silly, computer lady. Get Rowlet there in that Pokeball I gave you, but I don't want to. I feel it's cruel keeping Pokemon in a Pokeball. Fine. I have no choice in the matter. Sorry, Ninhuto. Okay. We're off. We're off. It's a Rattata. With a moustache. Come on, Ninhuto. Fight. Um, leafage. Let's try leafage. See what leafage does. Ow. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Go. 
Go Ninhuto. Ninhuto gained 53 experience points. Didn't even go up a level. That's what I need to do though. Go to the settings. We need to adjust like menu speed and things. Uh, okay, there we go. Options. Tech speed. Fast. There we go. That's good. Who are you? If you happen to pick up a potion anywhere, use it on your Pokemon when it's low on HP. And it's been better before you know it. Cool. <laughs> Why do I stick my arms out as I walk through the grass? <laughs> Look, she walks normally. You go through the grass, it's like... Ooh. Oh, not another Rattata. Fight. Okay, leafage seems quite good. Yeah, I'm using the mouse to do the touchscreen stuff. But I've got it so you can't see the um, cursor. So that's why it looks like it's happening by magic. <laughs> Ninhuto! Yes, level six. Problem is, we, don't, we can't catch Pokemon at the moment because we don't have any Pokeballs. Oh, I think this might be the feel of the game. Or the hop. <laughs> hey, hey! Nobody cares, question mark boy. Nobody cares. Which Pokemon are you going to choose as your partner? Have you decided? Oh yeah, I'm Hugh. How? How are you? Hey you. I'm this guy. I couldn't wait for us to pick partners together, so I came to find you myself. I like this game. I like, it's a Pokemon game. I like Pokemon. I just never really got into it when I played it before, because you had to play it on the 3DS and it's quite small. Whoa, your Rowlet is so cool. Hey, wait. You already picked your Pokemon? Sorry about that, who? We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Ninkeso choose her par partner first without you. Fair enough. I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you can choose one of these two, who? Brock? Right, is he going to choose the fire Pokemon and make my life awkward? Or is he going to choose the water Pokemon and make my life easy? Oh, what's his name? It's W-A-U. No, H, I don't know, H-A-U. I'm going to call him Who. Unless someone else can phone an SFT to say what his name is. <laughs> H-A-U. Hayu? Hayu? Who? Then my partner will be... Poplio, I choose you. Ah, oh, he's chosen the, to make it easy for me. Aloha, friend. I decided ages ago that you were the one I wanted to have a, an adventure with. Uh, we're going to do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. You say it like the word how. How? That makes no sense to me. <laughs> How do you know all this pastel puffs? Have you watched the have you watched the anime? <laughs> have you watched the anime and know how to say all the names? See, Sword and Shield was easy because all the um Uncle Google helped you. <laughs> Good old Uncle Google. See, Pokemon Sword and Shield was easy because it kind of was like set in the UK. So it was all like words I'm very familiar with. It was quite funny watching um like American and Canadian streamers stream it because they were like, oh, how do you say this? <laughs> Professor, you'll take good care of Litten, right? You better believe I will, how? All right then, Litten. Everybody, time to go back into your balls for now. Wait up. Me and Poplo have a favor to ask. Be our opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together. 
No. Then I'm going to wait for you, so you better come back and battle me. We don't have a choice. <laughs> Fine. Being a moody, annoying person is not helping me. This is going to be so easy. Oh, right. I'm seriously going to enjoy this. You're not. You're going to get your ass handed to you, Hugh. How? Sorry. How? Not Hugh. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hal. Poplio. It is quite cute, Poplio. But it's got nothing on Ninhuto. <laughs> it's a colour changing pig. Come on, one hit, one hit. One hit kit death. No, oh, rubbish. Easy. Easy. Level seven. Hello, George. Where's Patricia? Hello, Patricia. Oh, I, I, I guess you're leaving us soon. Hello, doggy dog. I don't know your doggy dog's name. I'm going to call him Bob. Bob and... Wendy. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Hello, Wendy. Our first defeat. Sorry, Poplio. That's why you don't take on a grass Pokemon with a water Pokemon. Whoa, that was awesome, Ninkeso. You and Rowlet were both so cool. Nobody cares, Hal. Nobody cares. You gotta have that. You gotta have this kind of battle where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too. You know. Right on, Ninkeso. You and Hal both brought out the best in your partners, did we? And pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah? You always call them different names when you see them. <laughs> That's because I always forget. <laughs> They're not cats, so the moment I don't see them anymore, they get wiped from my memory. <laughs> Plus, George and Patricia, like, show off on my channel a lot, a lot more often. <laughs> you should ch totally check out Icky Town. I get it's, bet it's not pronounced Icky Town either. Right, let's go check out Icky Town. It's all icky and sticky. It's peaceful. Oh, don't cry, Debbie. I'm sorry. And we're here. This right here is Icky Town. Is it, it's all sticky, is Icky. <laughs> icky Sticky Town. The town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over um, Melamet. <laughs> Why are the words so hard? Mel. Melemiele Island. <laughs> Melemiele Island. Oh, God. Tapu Coco keeps us all safe and happy, you see? Is that Bruce Forsyth? Are you sending me a Bruce Forsyth, Debbie? Why would you do that? <laughs> Just why? <laughs> Looks like the kahuna's nowhere to be found though. Yeah, cause it's like three in the morning. I don't know why everyone's up anyway. I guess they must have there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing, yeah. Yeah, the kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. I'm going to stop by home for a sec. I've got to show my mom pop pop poplio. Meh le mele. Mele mele. Meh le me le. <laughs> Thank you, Pastel Puffs. I'm never going to remember all this. Hey, I've got an idea for you, Ninkeso. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to uh, Tapu Kuku. Hold up. How do I get a uh, Forsyth emote? <laughs> I guess it's subscribed to a channel that has it as their, as their thing. 
the struggle is real and I'm here to help. Thank you. It's very much appreciated. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? Because it's four in the morning. If you're real lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. It just say they are Twitch global emotes. They're from a train hype. Oh, they're from train hype ones. I don't have many train hype ones. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the kahuna comes back. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. I think the two doggy ones, Barlet. Um, I'm not sure, actually. I've only ever had one way, one hype train on my channel. Because <laughs> it was just animals, wasn't it? Last time I checked. I have four train hype ones. What do I... Let's, let's check my train hype ones. Where's my train hype ones? Do, 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 do. Oh man, I've only got two. Literally only got two train hype ones. Where are they? No, I've got more than that. I've got more than that. No, I've only got two train hype ones. These are all my train hype ones. There we go. Uh, no, what have I done? Oh my god. Uh, what is going on? What is go what have I done? I've totally ruined my display now. This is so bad. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't see chat very well or anything. Right. Um, store to default. Fine. Right. Activity feed. We need to move that. Okay, we can move the activity feed. There. Good. And we move the chat. There. Good. Then we make chat bigger. We make that smaller. Um, then we can make this a bit smaller as well. There we go. I can see everything again. Oh, look at the cats, Pastel Buff. Where are the cats? Oh, a little cat thing. Yeah, you get height train ones from like adding to the height train. <laughs> Ventosaurus with the raccoons. I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins. Sorry, back to the game. So please stay in the bag. We'd get in trouble if anyone sees you. <laughs> Nachos. What is that? I don't even recognize that Pokemon. Oh no, angry pidges. Oh, they're Sparrows. Spearows. Oh my god, they're not pidges. They're being mean. Stop it. Stop being mean. That's nacho cheese, is it? Do anyone have hindsight 2020 emotes? Not that I'm aware of. Ah. I have some hyperscape emotes for some weird reason. What's wrong? Help. Save Nebby. Pew. Oh, poor Nebby. Those Spiro are attacking it. I can't. Fine. I need to check now. Let me look. What were they called? 
Um, oh, I do. Oh, my God, I've got loads of them. I've got loads of these ones. Nightbot, please don't ban me. <laughs> please, save Nebby. I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Oh, it's a Sparrow. It's attacking. I have these. Not sure where they came from. I think the weirdest ones I have are like... Um, I've got quite a few pride ones as well for some reason. These are all my pride ones. And then for some reason I have these two hyperscape emotes, which I've no idea where these came from whatsoever. Right, let's do this fight. This is going to be bad. That's a bird and it's fighting a grass type Pokemon. I've got quite a few in the unlocked section as well. All the crazy, the crazy, crazy, pathetic wolf emotes. <laughs> they are very strange. I think the only facey ones I've got are from a gift subscription at the moment are these from One Shot Girl. These are my face emotes that I have at the moment. They're not up there with Pathetic Wolf, though, are they? You managed to chase off one of the Spiro, but... Oh, but there are still more. Please, please help. Please help Nebby if you can. Am I going to do face pick ones? Um, Maybe do a few once I've got, like, lots of emotes, but that's a long way off. Be careful... It looks like that attack may have damaged the plank bridge too. What I want to do though is I want to get some like cartoon Kelly emotes done. Um, that I think that's what I want to do when I get like once I've unlocked a few more emote slots, I'll look for someone that can um, do some cartoon Kelly stuff because that is beyond my my expertise to be able to create that. Because I definitely want like a happy Kelly, a sad Kelly, a laughing Kelly, a Kelly in a donut. <laughs> A grumpy Kelly. <laughs> I think they'll be really cute. They are your face ones. You. <laughs> so yeah. So once I've unlocked a few more slots. I'll look for like an emo artist or something. And get them made up. This bridge is very rickety. Sexy hydrating emotes. <laughs> Maybe a winky emote. Needs like. I'll need to get someone to like do photos of me in all in all the funny faces that I pull while I stream. Hey, and if I get a sexy hydrate emote fence source, I can get like a t-shirt with it on as well with a massive great big sexy hydrate face. <laughs> Think how cool that'd be. <laughs> Phew. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. What? What is that? Pew pew! A sparkling stone? Feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I am so grateful for you helping us out of that dangerous spot. 
<laughs> Are you the kahuna? <laughs> I, I, I'm Lily. I can read her name. I think it's pronounced Lily anyway. And I suppose this stone must belong to you. It doesn't, but I'll take it. You obtained the sparkling stone. Please, don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's, it's a secret, okay. Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Why are you living in a bag and not a Pokeball? Right. Um, I'm worried you might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too it's too much for me to ask it, but do you think you could see us back to town? Come on then, let's go. Come on. Chop, chop. Places to go, people to see. Pokemon to capture. Are there Bidoof in this game? What you keep looking at to your left. What, that way or that way? So, that's my left that way. That's my right. No, that's my left that way. That's my right that way. I don't know. I'm looking at the game. And my water bottle. My water bottle's here. <laughs> Honing oh, Queso. You already met Lily, huh? That way is my screen to my... Um... Yeah, that's my screen with the chat and everything. And I've totally, like, changed the layout and it's very annoying me. <laughs> so everything's wrong. I need to sort that out later. Honing oh, Queso. You already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah. Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Holla? He said that he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just um, taking a little stroll up Mahulu Trail while I waited for him to return. And that's how you met our new neighbour, Ninkeso, huh? She just got to Alola yesterday. Help her find a way around, yeah? So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all the lower, yeah? I know often... Uh, recommend this, but I'd love a live feed of Kelly to fill the space over your head. The problem is we've got like up there, we've got the um, bottom screen of the 3DS at the moment. Attach a GoPro to Jelly. No. <laughs> there you are, Kahuna Hala. Was there some kind of trouble? Ah, I just got caught up in the middle of some brawling rock rough. That's all. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Kuku flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some Spiro on the plank bridge, and Ninkeso here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Woo! <laughs> That's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although the, it is said to protect us, our uh, Tapu Kuku is rather a fickle creature. Yet our guardian has was moved to save you. Um, Kuku Kukui, my boy. I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Mil of Meh Meh 
Memely Island. <laughs> Can't remember how to say it already. Memely, Meli Meli, Meli Meli Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Cuc um, <laughs> God, I hate these names. Young Kukui has told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. <laughs> Boo! I can say that. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should stay in the you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. Put it in a pokeball then. Kukui, I think it's pronounced. I know. Hopefully I'll remember by the end of the game. It's safer that way. The island has so many difficult names. I guess because it's like obviously set like set loosely on based on like Hawaii. And I've never been there, so I don't, don't know how to say things. <laughs> That's why Sword and Shield was so easy, because it was like loosely set in the UK. Uh, I have read that Pokemon like it when you pet them and take care of them, you know. All right. Here's a lovely gift to uh, for me to help make today special, in case so. We got a Pokedex. I can say that. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah, that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Rowlet, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. A trainer passport. And this is a trainer passport that I had put together for you. Well, you got to meet the Kahuna at least. Ready to head home now, Ninkeso? Yes. Fine, I'll use the steps. <laughs> oh yeah, Ninkeso, hold up a sec. You just told me to go home. Oh, it's Hal. What is it, Hal? Did you forget something? You seriously asking me that? Nobody cares, Hal. Nobody cares. Who's the one here who forgot to tell everyone before wandering off for a little stroll and a sing without a word, huh? Hmm, Ninkeso. Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? How did he know I had a sparkling stone? It's in my bag. I think he's been looking through my bag when I've not been, like, paying attention. Could it be? Tutu. It, tutu. Isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Kuku at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Ninkeso? Yeah, it rescued me. So, it even decided... Uh, they even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola. Perhaps you are here in Alola, in case so, because this is where you are meant to be. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares how. Nobody cares. Also, allow me to borrow this stone for just for now. No! Fret not, I will return it to you tomorrow evening. Oh, man. What a thief. You'll return it to me once you've made a copy of it and you give me the fake. Is that the that your plan is how the person we don't like in this game i can get behind that I, he's i think how is shaping up to be the person we don't like you have the makings of a brilliant trainer uh, oh that's that's hella you have got the makings of a brilliant trainer i can see the light within you you must do us this honor of joining in our festival tomorrow fine can i go home now because it's like 5 a.m and i'm knackered Firstly, I'll make sure you get back home safe today, though, Ninkeso. Lily, you two should come with us, too. Yeah. Lily, you two should come with us, too. Yeah. Wouldn't want you to... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't even read. Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes. I will keep an eye on. It's already going. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh, you... Would you not try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? He has the potential to be our enemy. Well, if BP Barlet doesn't like him, then I don't either. <laughs> we're home. This is this is Ninhuto. Welcome back, Ninkeso. So what did you think of the Kahuna Hulla? 
Oh, and look what you've got with you. Yeah, that's an Inhuto. Oh, it came running out to help you. What a sweet little thing. Yeah, right there on Route 1. <laughs> and it saved you? That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Mom, I'm home. Oh no, is the Meowth going to eat an Inhuto? You know, cat bird. Yeah. Cool. I think we're safe. Oh, you're still alive, Ninkeso. Well, that's good. I know, she didn't want me to be alive. The next day. <laughs> My mum's a bit weird. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. What? But it's daytime. The sun it's a sunrise, not a sunset. When it comes up, it's a rise. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Ninkeso. Okay, jeez. It's my big TV. There were mounds of Malasadas waiting for you. Join us to enjoy some marvellous Malasadas. Alola fans, let me tell you tell you that today we'll have a famously a strange dry molasses. Let's dig in at once. What? I don't care. Nobody cares, TV. Nobody cares. They must be living in Australia. Everything is upside down. It, it's, okay, so this guy rings the doorbell then just decides to walk in anyway. Kukui I don't like you. Hey there, Ninkeso. Go put a t-shirt on. It's about time we set up for our festival, yeah? But first, I've got something to teach you, yeah? <laughs> now that you're a real Pokemon trainer. It's the most basic of all the basics. Oh, don't teach me how to catch a Pokemon. I know how to catch Pokemon. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon, pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Whee! This guy teaches me how to catch Pokemon. I'm going to be very disappointed. Ninkeso, hurry up because I'm not related to you. Pretend you're Pokemon. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. Oh, I, 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 can we make him our enemy? <laughs> Yeah, I'm over here. I know how to catch Pokemon. So, you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in the tall grass, yeah? Now that you've got Rowlet there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah? You can also try to catch them. Woo! I'm going to show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the fight. I've only been playing Pokemon for like 25 years. Oh dear. See, that was the best thing about Sword and Shield. They were like, do you know how to catch wild Pokemon? You just went, yes. And they're like, oh, okay, that's fine. I think that's why I didn't get into this game when I first played it. It's because it still treats you like you're brand new. <laughs> it's just like, I know. He caught a grubbin. Well done. Oop, game went a bit funny then. Alright, got myself a grubbin. Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close. But catch them and they'll join you. And they'll join your team and be great help to you, yeah? 
And if your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit, yeah? Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you sorted out. Started out. <laughs> Not sorted out. Might have been sorted out, I don't really know. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Icky Town, yeah? Take good care of Ninkeso, Rowlet. His, his name's in Huto. Jeez. Here we go, we can catch a Pokemon. What is it? Oh, it's a grubbin. Try not to kill it, Rowlet. I think if we tackle, we should be fine. We'll tackle it again and then we'll try and catch it. Pokeball. There we go. Can we catch catch the grubbin? Oh yes, yes, we called it. We called it. We called it, everyone. <laughs> Robin's data will be added to the Pokédex. Um, it spits a sticky thread to stop opponents in their tracks, and then it grabs them in its sharp, sturdy mandibles to take them down. Uh, do we want to give it a nickname? Why not? <laughs> what are we going to call the Grubbin? Ninbuggo. <laughs> oh, I spelled it wrong. I spelled Ninbuggo wrong. Nin. Ninbuggo. Yay. I'm okay with Ninbuggo. <laughs> I can sense a theme with all the Pokemon I'm catching. <laughs> I keep trying to move the camera with the white stick, but obviously that's not how this game works. <laughs> oh, it's a Caterpie. It's only level two, though. We still need to catch it. I'm not sure we're going to give it a name, though. I can't see myself using the Caterpie very often. There, we got it. We got a Caterpie. What a formidable team we're building up. body is soft and weak. In nature, its perpetual fate is to be seen by others as food. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it's a little girl one. I'm going to call it Jane. <laughs> Come on, Jane. We found a Pokeball. Oh, look at her. She's going to cause us trouble. Just look at her. Standing there throwing a ball up. <laughs> when the eyes of a Pokemon trainers meet, you know what's going to happen, right? A Pokemon battle.
You are challenged by Last Audrey. <clears throat> Benary. Oh, it's a Benary. Is Grookey in this game? No. Grookey was first in um, Sword and Shield, and this game is the one before Sword and Shield. So, no Grookey. No Sobble. No whatever the rabbit's called. <laughs> Score Bunny. Oh, okay. And Grookey's my fave so far. Aww. Score Bunny. Yeah, I know. It came to me after I said it. Good old Ninhuto. Oh, we learn Peck. There better be a bid off. Or I won't be. Ha I'm. I'm hoping that there potentially there could be, but I don't know for sure. Oh, that bunny is cute. <laughs> I really do hope there's bid off in the game. Bidoof in the game. We need a nimboof off. A nim. A nimbadoof off. A nimbadoofo. Jimmy, what are you playing at, little lad? Your caterpie is going to get murderized, I'm afraid. I'm going to peck. It even says, look, super effective. Nice. Uh, there will not be a Wooloo BP Barlet, I'm afraid. Wooloo were first in Sword and Shield. Which is Gen 8, and this is Gen 7. There might be a Mareep. I lost my bug type Pokemon. You're really bugging me, you know. Now, your puns are not up there with Fentasauruses, I'm afraid, little Jimmy. I love how the game's like, after a battle, is like slow at first and speeds back up again. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, there might be Mareep. Um, this is probably going to kill it, I'm afraid. Ladybug. Oh, it did. <laughs> it did kill it. Lol. Took money from kid after beating him. Exactly. <laughs> Give me all your pennies now. The number one route on the spectrum. Hello, little doggy dog. Um, Rockruff is staring at you. What would you like to do? Turn to the right, stare at it, wave goodbye, change position. I, oh, no, I did the wrong button. I went turn to the right. Oh, look at the little rock cliff. Um, Rockruff seems to want to play more with you. What would you like to do? I'm going to turn the other way now. <laughs> um, play peekaboo. <laughs> don't know what's going on. Peekaboo! What would you like to do? I'm just going to stare at it now. It's wriggling with joy. Um, change positions. I don't know what. I wave goodbye now. Bye. You seem that seemed to have wasted my time, little Rockcliff. Um, Rockruff is a really famous Pokemon. You should try playing with it a bit too. It's following me. Are you gonna follow me? Hello. No. Whoa, big fan of Rockruff. <laughs> Trainer tips. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at this little, little urchin here. 
What a naughty little urchin. <laughs> let's, let's beat him up and take his money. Hey, please battle me. Don't know. Do you have money for me to take? It's preschooler Olive. Oliver, sorry. Okay, so he's not even like old enough to go to school yet. And we're about to beat him up and take his money. <laughs> Hey, preschooler Oliver. Give me your lunch money, kid. He doesn't even have lunch money, Fentasaurus, because he's too young to go to school. Ow. That'll teach him to fight random adults. <laughs> I'm not even an adult in this game. I'm like... A, I think I'm like pre-teen, aren't I? In this game, sort of around about the t 10, 11 year old. Oh, who are these? These look like naughty people. Measuring the aurora, aurora readings here, the numbers appear to be a bit high. What do you think, Captain? I don't appreciate Rattata's colour change. Uh, it's the Alola, Alola form. I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Who are these? Who are these guys? Is this the Team Rocket? Hmm, what was that? Did you say something? I was... Well... I was certainly not distracted by this foolish display of festivity. So there are aurora readings in this place. Perhaps it may be the effects of that one they call the island's kahuna. But everything is so bright here in Alola. Far brighter than we have been told it would be. I find it loathsome. This awful brightness. Even though this is the light we have sought for so long. Yes, I, I suppose you are right. We must carry out our investigations to return the light to our own world as well. Before the blinding one can awaken. I have no idea who these are. I do not remember these at all. It's Kelly! <laughs> you. You are not native to Alola either, are you? You seem to have come from far away. <laughs> Thanks, bye. <laughs> you imagine having that conversation. You're not native to here, are you? And then they just walk off. Like, what? It's time. It's time. It's time, it's time for Kelly's Street Time. time. See, even the grey cat gives like a wink. It's great. <laughs> yes, it is time for Kelly's treat time. She's still on the cheesy flavoured dreamies. Here we go. There we go, Kelly. Oh. She devours away. We'll go get this Pokeball while Kelly's eating. Oh no, we got into a fight. Oh, it's a Yangoose. We need this Yangoose. We need this Yangoose. <laughs> Kelly chomp. Kelly likes her dreamy cheese, a cheesy dreamies. Dreamies, dreamies cheesy. She likes them whatever flavour they are. Um, let's tackle it. I don't want to kill it. I want to catch this thing. Oof. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. We'll try and catch it now. <laughs> Look at her, like. What do I do now? Oh, I'll leave. <laughs> Machomp. More like Kelly Chomp. I like the Yam Goose. It's cute, isn't it? I think I know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> um, Young Goose Data will be added to the Pokedex. <laughs> it 
it's so angry looking. It's, it's like, although it will eat anything, it prefers fresh living things. So it marches down streets in search of prey. Oh my god, it eats other Pokemon. Wow. It's like a honey badger, isn't it? <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Yes, I want to give it a nickname. Ninbito. <laughs> Ninbito was added to my party. Hell yeah, Ninbito. Right. We're going to put Ninbito at the lead of the party now. Pokemon. Uh, okay. There we go. Heal it up as well, so it can bite people well. <laughs> hey, back. I just assumed like all of my Pokemon would get um, XP. Let's have a look. I'll start a switch button mode, party box, manual. Oh well. Pokemon refresh. What's this? Oh my god, we can play with my Pokemon. Give your Pokemon tender loving care. Pet them gently and make them very affectionate towards you. Give Pokemon Poke Beans. Pokemon love to eat them. You can get them in the cafe area. Right. Okay. Hello. Do you want a Poke Bean? There you go, have a Poke Bean. <laughs> Okay, we need to play with this one. Hello. <laughs> Look how angry it is. I touched it. Oh, look. I'm petting it. Hello. Look at those teeth. I'm going to scratch your head. Look at you. Yes, you cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. <laughs> Ninbito. Ninbito's happy. Do you, like, do you like these? Do you want a purple one? Okay. <laughs> okay. I got scared. We need to run away from Nimbito. Okay. Let's get back to Icky Town. Oh, Nimbito is going to get a fight. Nimbito is going to destroy you, Caterpie. <laughs> Look at it. Fight. Tackle. Come on, Nimbito. Ooh, it's not very strong yet. Come on, don't take that from a cat from a caterpillar. Come on, crunch it up. Crunch it up. Oh, one more. One more. One more and we should be good. Ooh, that was a big hit. Oh, it didn't even go up a level. Rubbish. Oh my god, it's, it's an alone executor. Can I have my stone back? The Aloha region is made up of our, of our four islands. And each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities. I am going to end up catching them all, aren't I? <laughs> 
for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be be many of us, but at least every last one of us is of us here goes all out. I'm struggling to read today. Oh, it's you. I don't want to talk to you. Woof! Why you got no friends? Everyone's saying we should fix the bridge, but we don't have any good lumber. What about these trees here? <laughs> oh, have we got to fight how again? Ho, oh, how's it, Ninkeso? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Poplio's been waiting for ages. <laughs> Off. Hold on. Didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? No. Oh, yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? <laughs> Pew! A full powered festival for Pokemon Basilin. We battle in the name of Tapu Koku, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo! So the guardian is making the Pokemon fight. To, this, this doesn't sound like a good guardian. So you two will be taking part in the battle. I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another, since they so often end up getting hurt. But I'll be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them some care in return in Queso. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Are you ready for the Pokemon battle? Yes. Then let it let's let let it begin. Nimbito is going to be our first out. Got oh, so many notifications. For all life on our islands, and for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection, for them, and for Mele Mele and for Mele Mele. <laughs> May the Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Kuku. Before you, before you stand, How, grandson of the Kahuna. Let's have fun with this, Popiblio. Before him stands Ninkeso, who was who has met with Tapu Kuku. That's me. What? What a curious little thing Tapu Kuku is. Ha! That's just typical of it. <laughs> Yangus, take care of little Ninkeso. As long as we both have a good time. Then I think we can call it a great battle. No. If I annihilate you, it's a great battle. How? Nobody cares how. Ninkeso, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Here we go. Time to beat up how again. Pichu? Where did you get a Pichu from? I want a Pichu. God, it's level six. Um, <laughs> Nimbito, you... Oh, no. You're going to annihilate Hoots Hoots. Nimbuggo, you're going to go out there to get killed, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Nimbuggo. I should have put Catapy out there, really. Vice Grip. Problem is, Electric is super effective against flying. So if I was to put um, Ninhuto out, it would probably kill me in like one or two hits with a Thunder Shock. It will kill Nimbuggo, but I don't really care as much. <laughs> oh, Nimbuggo is holding its own. Nimbuggo is holding its own here. Mainly because the Pichu is just doing Tail Whip, which is a useless move. 
paralyzed. Oh, Nimbuggo. You are so close to being victorious. Just need to get one more attack in. Two more attacks in then. Come on. There we go. Oof. Go Nimbuggo. Ooh, Nimbito went up as well. Uh, yes, I will be switching Pokemon. To Ninhuto. Oh dear, Yawny. Awesome, we did we annihilated how What? It's already over? Yeah, because you suck. <laughs> Hoo wee, another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Kuku Coco liked it too. Phew, that was awesome, Ninkeso. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Cuckoo. Cuckoo, Cuckoo. Oh, oh, you heard it yourself. Tapu Cuckoo's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time you take this, Ninkeso. Is it my stone? Oh, this is a wristband. You slip the Z power ring onto your wrist. What's a Z power ring when it's at home? Your Z power ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z power. Or Z power. I think Z power. We Kahunas can make Z power rings using stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Kuku. Though you will need to undergo the island's challenge and collect Z crystals for yourself. If you wish to draw forth the Pokemon Z power. And yet you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Kuku took quite a liking to you. Or perhaps it has a mission for you. Well, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. Every island? <laughs> four islands? You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge champion. Woo! He woos a lot, this guy. He still needs a t-shirt on. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. But I'll let Kahuna Hullo explain the details. The island challenge um, Kuki, Kuk, Kukui spoke of is a journey to overcome your own limitations as you travel the far corners of Alola and meet with others along the path. It is the great adventure that children in the Alola region embark upon along with their Pokemon once they reach 11 years of age. See, I said I was like a kid still. Allow me to give you both the island challenge amulets you will need. Awesome. Thanks, Tutu. <laughs> Tutu. I'm going to make it through the island challenge and try to become the island challenge champion. No, because I'm going to. There is one for you as well, Ninkeso. Please do give the island challenge a try. 
So hot. Undercracker stick. Mm, pleasant, Gemma. Very pleasant. <laughs> I didn't need to know that. Yeah, doing the island challenge is the best way to really get to know Alola. Tapu Kuku is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Boo! Oh yeah. <laughs> you know Ningeso. It did save your life too. Nah, I'd have been alright. Doodling, so I'm distracted now. <laughs> I noticed you went live, Pastel Puffs. And it even gifted you that sparkling stone. Even though you're a stranger to this place. Suppose it's time we get you kids home, yeah? Nebby, Alola is full of full of all kinds of wonders, isn't it? Captain. I don't remember these at all. Are these just in the Pokemon Ultra versions? I was able to detect high levels of Aurora at this full-powered festival. I suppose you would. According to our earlier research, it seems that the Zed Power Rings and the Tapu Kuku creature are bathed in a great deal of light. Alola overflows with the light that was released by the Blinding One. I find myself rather envious. Oh, I hate those guys. I'm just intrigued to know who they are. I wonder if we can find some way to use the great power that fills Alola for ourselves. And that is precisely what we, the Ultra Re Recon Squad, are here to make clear. Onward! There is still much, to, much of Alola we have not seen. And we must investigate it all. Honey, I'm home. Meow. Oh, Ninkeso, you're back already. I thought you'd want to stay in Icky Town longer. <laughs> She's on my hand. <laughs> Are you having a roll? Especially right after the great Pokemon battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own girl fighting in such perfect sync with her partner. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed. I danced my feet off at that festival. Night, night, sweetie. You get some sleep too. You've knocked the box over, you sausage. <laughs> Sausage cat. The next day. <laughs> what are you doing? Why does she wake up every morning and just stand there and stretch and be like, Oh, what beautiful weather. <laughs> I wonder what today will bring me. I thought you said you were going to unpack all the boxes. I can still see boxes. Stop knocking the game over. If it's cuckoo he'll probably let himself in without us even waiting for us to open the door. I know, he's a douche. Fine, let's go open the door. Oh, he didn't let himself in. Human, play now. Being all silly. She keeps knocking the box over. What are you up to? What are you up to, Kelly? <laughs> You're moving the stream deck now. <laughs> Why are you being a pain? Oh, um, the professor said... Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new trainer. Woo! <laughs> so I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab. If you'll come with me. It's, um, it's this way. I might have said this before, but that cat looks just like mine. Aww. You have a very pretty cat then, Brett Gaming. <laughs> Ninkeso! Why do I only ever go out at night time? Is it because I'm playing Pokemon Moon version? Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. 
What are you doing? What are you doing, Kelly? Oh, well done, Ninkeso. You've already, you're already making friends, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. And what a cute little friend you found. <laughs> you're blurry now, Kelly. Why are you blurry? Quick, get the camera in focus. There we go. I also have a cat that's orange and I call them peaches. I should have called him Garfield. Oh, I had a ginger cat called Garfield when I was a kid. I had a black and white one as well called Odie. <laughs> it's like Garfield and Odie. <laughs> I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. M -m Me? Well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. Kelly, what are you doing? What are you doing, little girl? You're being silly. Looks like it's finally time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Yangus. And don't be gone too long. Boop. Did you have an animal called John? I didn't. No. I'm sure I'm sure Garfield and Odie called me John, though, in their own little minds. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, let's bring the game back up to full size. By show me, you're just going to wander off. You can reach the Pokemon's lab by treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he is surrounded by Pokemon. Since I'm not a trainer though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know about using repels to keep Pokemon from attack. I do actually. I've been playing the game for like 25 years, so you know, I know these things. And about Nebby. Oh, I mean, Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. Came from far, far away. <laughs> Boo! It seems to have a very strange power. I used the power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? No. I'm going to tell everyone. I'm posting it right now on Twitter. <laughs> can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge? Please. Nap too late. It's posted. It's online now. Oh, Ninkeso. Do you want to know something neat? No. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. You can reach the Pokemon Research Lab without having to go through any patches of tall grass if you jump down from the ledge. 25 years I've been playing this game. <laughs> Just like this. He up. But yeah, you try and get back up the ledge. Hmm? If you'd like to take a shortcut, I suggest you try it too. I'll be heading to the lab now, so see you there. Uh, we'll go down the shortcut. We'll, we'll battle these people on the way back. Anything, any Pokeballs lying around? What are you just doing hanging around here? Shadow the Hedgehog is a... Comment deleted for swearing. What? I don't understand what you mean, Brett Gaming. Shadow the Hedgehog's not in the game. <laughs> right. I can't say I've ever played a game with Shadow the Hedgehog in it. I'm not a big Sonic fan. Ouch. Okay, we need the wing goal. Probably not going to give it a nickname though, so I don't think I'm ever going to use it in battle. Right, Pokeball. I can send you the link to it, but would recommend letting the stream hear it as some bad words and get you banned. 
I'm okay. I'm okay, but gaming. <laughs> Hey, we got the wing goal. We're not gonna name we're not giving the wing goal a nickname though. Nimbito grew to level five. Next. Nope, don't wanna give it a nickname. I didn't even want it in my party. I want it gone. <laughs> the Pokemon I've got with me are all grass type. I'm looking for some water type Pokemon for my team so I can beat fire types too. 10 Karat Hill. Okay, we need Rock Smash to get through there, I think. Right, let's go see the Professor. Why are there so many Macros flying about? Oh yeah, Rock Ruff. Let's go. Give it everything you've got. Oh no, no, that's fine. I want to know that I want to... I want to know that I want to was a good day. I was want to was a good day. I want to was a good day. Give it everything you've got. My body is ready. Woo! Oh my god, what is he doing to Rock Ruff? I don't like this guy. He's doing dodgy things to Rock Ruff. Ah, uh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. You mean it's a dump? <laughs> I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer too. Raoo, rough, rough. The professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I just washed the lab, his lab coat and finally gotten it clean too. Now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes. So we'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Oh, it's a snubble. Oh, Corsolia as well. A love disc. A slow poke. Hey there, Ninkazo. Thanks for getting hit her for me, Lily. It's not really torn to shreds, though, his lab coat, is it? Of course. However, I can be of help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Is this in your top five of Pokemon games? Um, I've never played it before, Gemma, so... <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I've never... I've, like, played it for about an hour before the um, Pokemon Moon. I've never played Pokemon Ultra Moon before. Um, I just never got into it when it was on the... Um, three, when I was playing it on the 3DS. Say, Ninkeso, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? But I do like Pokemon games, so... So what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? But that's why I called you here, eh? It's definitely better than Pokemon Channel. <laughs> it's a bad game, that one. <laughs> but that's why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It... What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. So there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called a Rotom. I know this. Rotom? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. I don't need to know about it. I know all about it. It's a particular Pokemon made up of some sort of electricity and it can, like, possess any electrical item. It can take up residence in machines. Yeah, buddy. And... To put that crazy skill of Rotom to work is a next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom 
has gone into this body specially developed for it. A whole new way of, for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties on it. On it. The world's... And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. Nobody cares, Lily. I don't mind Lily. It's it's cuckoo-y I don't really care about. I think that's why I didn't get into this game initially. It's because the whole... The first, like, hour, hour and a half that I played... It's very... Like, it's like any Pokemon game that came before it. It's teaching you... It's treating you like you've never played Pokemon before. So it's explaining everything. Whereas at least in Sword and Shield... Like, it was like... Oh, do you know how to catch Pokemon? You could just go, yes, I know. And it would be, oh, okay. Whereas this one, you don't have any choice. You have to go through all the explanations. When... <laughs> you don't always need to. And now, if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in. It's a Rotom. Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Zit, zit. <laughs> Rotom. Here, boy. I powered up your favourite decks. Give Ninkeso here a helping hand, yeah? Because... Nobody has cookie. <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo -y. Oh no, my Rotom's talking to me. Oh, hey there. P -p Pleasure to meet you. I didn't get to read all that. Oh, we got a map now as well. Check it out, Ninkeso. Now Rotom can talk right to you. It may take a little while to get used to its new job, but I'd say Rotom's taking a liking to you. And this will help how... And this will help how exactly? Ninkeso hasn't been in a lower too long yet, so I decided to give her this special Rotom Dex to help her navigate around. Thank you very much. You can see where you're heading just by looking at the Rotom. If you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. Oh, it's Hal. Nobody cares about Hal. Alola. The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to... Nobody cares, Hal. Nobody cares. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! What are you up to, you nana? Is that a loft? That's awesome. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a ladder going upstairs. Why is that awesome, you nana? No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Ninkeso? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. I, I've got nothing. <laughs> it's like, I don't trust that guy. So, Ninkeso, I'm leaving the Rotom decks in your hand. Rotom, you look after Ninkeso, yeah? So, that's a Rotom deck, eh? It's kind of cute. All right, then, Ninkeso. You too, Hal. Get a move on. Okay. Move on to what? To the trainer's school. you got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through battling Pokemon. I know all about this. It's a long road to becoming the Island Challenge champion. And the trainer's school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just want to play in my Pokemon. <laughs> I wish I could. I like the little... The, the snubble, the rock rough. And the thing I can't remember what it's called in the background. Dad cutting up carrot. Carrot was a nice rabbit. That's dark, Gemma. So this is how the people of Aloha connect with the world around them. Can't wait to fly. Welcome. How many games have I won so far? Um... Playing Pokemon. <laughs> so this is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. And then there's that the way that you and Rowlet both chose one another. And now that Rotom's helping you out as well. Even Nebby likes you. 
I guess there's something about you that makes Pokemon feel comfortable. When they're by your side. Lily, you take care of Ninkeso, yeah? Until she gets used to Rotom, help her find a way around. Feel free to have a little poke around. Look, we got a little map now as well. What are you called? I can't remember your name. Oof. I like this one. This one's grumpy and cute. Well. Can we go up here? Oh, we can. We can sneak into a room. Wait, this isn't Fortnite. It's not. Pokemon Ultra Moon. It's a very well-loved looking Pokemon doll. It's a McCrow. Crow, crow, crow. There are several of Lily's books. They look pretty advanced. Right. Pokemon school. Feel free to have a little poke around. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Right. What have I done? Oh my god. We brought the map up. This is weird. Oh, is all the different islands. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> there we go. Right, we need to go to school, everyone. The Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, Ninkeso? Ah. Everything has fallen into darkness. However, Pokemon creators in Fortnite. Couch in Fortnite, amazing idea. And also something that will never ever happen, Gemma. <laughs> never ever. Nebby, don't worry, it's okay. This must be what they call a lunar eclipse. It happens when the moon gets covered up. Was a lunar eclipse forecast for today? Oh well, it must be some kind of good omen, yeah? An omen? You think something good will happen? Sure, a long, long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness, yeah? But people say that's when Alola people and Pokemon blasted all the darkness away. Uh, with light. <laughs> and they also say that was why people started gathering Zed Crystals. And that custom turned into the Island Challenge. Ninkeso. Now that you've collected the Zed, the Zed Power Ring, I hope you've collected tons of Zed Crystals. Woo! That's exactly what a movie researcher like me needs to uncover new secrets. Professor, that's not why she's supposed to be doing it. Come on, Ninkeso, I'll show you to the Pokemon Center. Thanks. Everything went black all of a sudden. I thought it might... I might be out of batteries. Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. I won't short circuit. Maybe a nice visit to the Pokemon Center will have us. I'll flag it on the map for you. Thank you. Just talk slower. I can't keep up. Right. Oh. Alola, check out my cute Pokemon. How cute are they, though? That is the question. You are challenged by Lass Madison. Oh, she sent out Yangoose. It's Yangoose versus Yangoose. Come on, Nimbito. <laughs> Bite this Yangoose into oblivion. <gasps> it's stronger than my one. We'll still bite it. Ooh, Nimbito. Okay, we need to get Nimbito out of here. Um, let's put Nimbuggo in. <laughs> Come on, Nimbuggo. Ouch. That hurt.
mean, Buggo's actually quite good. <laughs> it's like, I thought it'd be awful, but it's actually doing okay. <laughs> Ninbuggo. <laughs> yeah, def there's a definite theme, uh, um, a definite theme with like, the name in the Pokemon that I want to use. <laughs> I still want a Nimbadufo. <laughs> I love how the game struggles at first. It's like, uh, coming out of a battle. It's nice and slow. And it's like, oh, we're going. Waken. Fine. Ooh, wild Pokemon. What's the theme? They all start with Nin and end in O. So we got Ninhuto, Nimbuggo, Nimbito. Oh, Nimbito, you can't do this. We'll put Hootoos in, though. Hootoot will be good. We need an Imberdo. <laughs> um, let's use Peck. What about Nin? McNin's gen. Doesn't end in O. Nin McNin's gen. I'm confused. Actually, if we use that one, it should be alright. Leafage should work well. Oh, look at that. Critical hit. We don't need one of those. We've already got a wing goal. Nindebo. <laughs> that's, that, Debbie, that's actually quite good. <laughs> I, I might name one of my Pokemon Nindebo. Come on, Nindebo. You'll have to let me know which one. I like it myself. <laughs> Ninbipo. There we go. There's another good name. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Non Muk Ningo. Nin Muk Ningo. <laughs> that's strange. <laughs> Come on, Ninhuto. Yeah, if it's a Pokemon, I know I'm never going to use, though. I'm just not going to name it. Like the Wingull. Ninjemo. <laughs> Ninjemo's pretty good. Oh, we've got so many names for all the Pokemon now. There are three names. Ninbipo, Nindebo... Ninjemo. <laughs> Ninfento. <laughs> Ninfento is pretty good. Ninfento or Ninfentio? <laughs> this thing's tough. An inky. Surely Leafage should be super effective against an inky. No. Okay. Let's peck it then. We need to go back home. We need to heal up before we go on our journey. I don't like this this thing. This is tough. See all your Pokemon's names are sorted. They are. <laughs> Only another 900 to go. <laughs> Nin Big Dave, yo. Mean Flim Big Davo. Nim Puffo. Nim Pastelo. Oh, Nim Huto and Nim Baito went up. 
An Imbito learn pursuit. We defeated youngster Kevin. Oh, brought to my knees. Right. Right. Let's go back home so that we can heal. And then we're going to go to where we need to go. Yeah, Ninpopo. <laughs> can you heal me, please, Mum? Oh, look at that amulet you have there. Is that for the island challenge? No. You lost. Now give me your money, kid. <laughs> Do your best to become the island challenge champ. I'll be behind you all the way. Have you been having a good time? You look a bit tired, but happy. Take a little break before you head out there again, sweetie. Nimpuffo is cute. Try to find a hedgehog one for me. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Your new name is Ninfento. <laughs> now we can go catch more Pokemon. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Talking Pokedex. So come on, spill the beans. How far have you gone? I'm talking about the Island Challenge, of course. I'm not, not started yet. Mom, stop pressuring me. I'll do it in my own time. You're always pressuring me. You always wanted me to go off and like do everything now. I will get it done when it needs to be done. Jeez. <laughs> my mum's a nagger. <laughs> but mum. Oh, here we go. Look. Here, let me show you the Pokemon Centre. I don't need it anymore. I've just like healed up with my mum. Yeah, I know how a Poke Centre works. You don't need to tell me. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. She's a Nin Mummo. <laughs> Nin Mummo. If there's a Kangaskhan in the game, that that's a good name for a Kangaskhan. I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. I can. <laughs> You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here, or take them out. Yeah, I'm going to put Wingole in there. And at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items. Yeah, I know. I think this is why I didn't get into this game before. I just got annoyed with being explained. Over there is the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo Milk. I read something in a travel guide about Alola once. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. Probably if they were smart on by what sells well. <laughs> the cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. We should head to the trainer school next, but have your Pokemon take care of, of first if you think you need a little aid. Let's get... So the trainer's school is... Oh yeah, it's right next to the Pokemon Center. Welcome to the Pokemon Cafe. It's about 5 now in a lower. AM, PM. Here is our cafe space. We provide a moment of peace to our customers. What can I get you for today? Um, let's have some Moo Moo Milk. That's 190. Wow, 198. Oof, go on then. Got it. Then if you just give me a moment. Let's pour in my drink. Here you are. One Moo Moo Milk just for you. Just one sip and you'll be hooked. Oh, so it's an addictive product, is it? The milk is so mellow yet rich. And it will make you wish your mother were a mill tank. Do you know what? I already wish my mum was a mill tank. <laughs> Once time has passed, you buy. You will never come back. And no one is selling more time anyway either. What is this guy on about? That's what makes time so important for all of us. When you're late for an appointment, it's like you're stealing the other person's time. I just want a drink. I don't want deep philosophical, philos phil philosophical discussions. I was often late for dates with my wife, so she used to give me an earful. Wow. Why did she marry you then if you were often late? I'd have just been like, you're late. Get out of my life. 
You're limited to one per day. But have a tea biscuit on us. You wish your mum was a milk tank. That's very odd. Wouldn't that make her a cow? It would. But you not met my mum in this? She's already like, how far have you got on this? Why are you doing... She, sent, she sends me out of the house at like three in the morning. These cookies are a spe speciality from um, Laveridge Town in the Hoenn region. We got a lava cookie. Would you like your poke? Would you like your Pokemon something on the house? We got some pokey beans. Pokey beans are a speciality in Aloha, and Pokemon love to eat them. Feed them to your Pokemon in Pokemon Refresh, and they'll become more affectionate. Only because she wants to make you the best Pokemon trainer. She wants me out the house. I think she wants Professor Kooky. Do you know what? Okay, theory. Theory coming up. Why does she want me out the house? Why does Professor Kukui just walk straight in? You know why. You know why my mum bought a house right next to Professor Kukui's place. Why does she want the little 11 year old hanging around? Well, you know, she can't get naughty with Professor Kukui if I'm in the house. <sighs> hey, Kelly. <laughs> Right. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Yeah, you're right. Exactly, exactly. We've, we've uncovered the conspiracy. Kelly's back, by the way. <laughs> Just sat there. Just her face off camera. Uh, what have you got for sale? I'll buy a couple more Pokemon balls. I want to buy a hundred of them. That's ridiculous. One button. Uh, we'll buy some more potions as well, I think. Probably not a hundred. We'll buy ten. Wait. Let's go to the Pokemon school. <laughs> what are you doing, you weird cat? She's just like hanging her head down. You can't really see it. What are you doing? You're being strange. Yes, you are. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is... It's a... Uh, a... Uh, what in the world? Oh my god, it's a Taurus. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon. Thanks to Taurus there. But we were only planning to go in as far as the training school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. <laughs> yep, the, the Pokedex is saying something, but Kelly was in the way. <laughs> I couldn't read it. You off. She's gone. Trainer's school. Hey then, in case so. I must have passed passed you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer school. The place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. I know how to be a Pokemon trainer. Fight Pokemon. Win battles. Professor Kukui. 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 Is this the child you told me about? Yeah, and in case there's a real tough one too. Put her through the ring, the, the ring of good, teach. Four trainers. You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the Pokemon at the school, Ninkeso. This the experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah? Actually, speaking of experiences, why don't you take this? Ah, oh, there we go, experience share. If you keep experience share on, all of your Pokemon in your team will get XP from the battle. Cool. The trainers who take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things that will help on your journey, I'd say. All right, let the lessons begin. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. 
Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what type of moves will work best in your next battle. Wandering about in tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that too. We um, battle all the time. Oh yeah. Great. You have to beat four other trainers. Good luck, pal. I bet you can do it. Zid, zid, zid. Right. Do you know what? I want to actually put Wingull away. I'm pretty sure I can't use the... Let me just double check. No. Yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield was the first one where you could just put them back into boxes from your party. Every game before it, you always had to go back here. And then do the PC. Right, box one. You. In there. You. In there. Cool. That way, we can put Rowlith in there. And then we can just turn on EXP share. Let's make sure it's on. Um, oh, it's been turned off. Okay. It's on. Because I wanted to put them in the box because I don't really intend to use them. And as I got experience share, they'll be getting XP, which they don't need to get. Hello, tennis player. If my precious Bonsley takes damage in a Pokemon battle, I want to use a potion on it. Okay. Bonsley's rock, isn't it? If I remember rightly. So Rowlet should be good. She just hit the Pokeball out with her tennis racket. Hopefully Grass Moves is super effective. Hell yeah. go easy the embargo went up to level six don't worry i'll heal my any pain that was caused by our defeat 196 for winning that's enough to buy some more moomoo Moo milk you can help your pokemon win by using items at the right time they can do more than just healing your Pokemon's HP too. They can even boost their stats and things like that. That could be abuse. <laughs> While well, using the tennis racket to hit them out. The school has an incinerator. Burning garbage can be, the, can be one way to reduce the volume of waste. Yeah, but it's also a way to like add to greenhouse gases, isn't it? Ready and grass, fire, water. Well, they playing rock, paper, scissors, but grass, fire, water. Um, which one wins again? Which would win in a matchup between water type and fire type? Well, water. Jeez. Why would you say grass? It's like the question is, what would win between water type and fire type? And grass is an option. Right, right, yeah. That's it. You must be a great trainer. Yes. Yes, I am. But yeah, I still have to do the training school. Hey, Kelly, what are you up to? Found an antidote. Paralyze Hill.
Are you one of the people I have to fight? Yes. I'll show you my Grimer's best move. With poison gas, it'll poison everyone that comes comes at us. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. Your towel was right in my mouth. I had to, like, nibble it. You're being very affectionate today. What's up? Okay. Youngster Joey. Think about me. Grimer. Oh, it's the Alohan Grimer, though, isn't it? I forgot about that. Alohan Grimer, all pretty colours. Oh, Kelly. There we go. Eva, welcome. Pork shoulder chops, carrot mush and mixed bed. Ready in half an hour. <laughs> Kelly's hungry. Maybe. She didn't get... I didn't feed her any... um meat this morning because she hadn't touched it yesterday i know she's got biscuits down there and i got some of that um i got her some new stuff as well so we'll see if she likes that right i've been poisoned i don't like it it's like rolling around everywhere now You got to heal up before you fight anyone else. Oh, face isn't on camera. No, the grime I found in the tall grass near the school was defeated. Grass type Pokemon are immune to uh, powder moves like poison powder, sleep powder. But you can still poison him with poison gas. Great. Right, I'm going to go back and heal up. Then we'll go. I'm going to guess the last two people. Are probably, there might be one in the fields there. But I guess the last person will be in the building. Fix me up, people. What time am I streaming till? Um, this will be till 7, I believe. Four hour stream. Started at 3. <laughs> and then marbles at 8. Marbles. Right, let's go see if there's anyone on these. Ah, oh, you. Oh, <laughs> Kelly, what did you do, you nutcase? <laughs> what did you do? She freaked herself out then. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you all right, little girl? Did you roll a bit too excitedly? Because that scared you then, didn't it? You got scared from that roll. <laughs> She's all embarrassed now. <laughs> I don't even know what she did. You want to know why I'm standing here? Because I'm the strongest, that's why. I won't even bother battling you unless you can beat everyone else here. Okay. Jeez. What a meanie. I know, VP Violet. I don't know what... I, I don't even know what she did. <laughs> She's still just squirming about. <laughs> Kelly, what are you doing, little girl? Oh my god, I'm in the I'm in the toddler's class. Hello. I've just walked straight into your little group of preschoolers here. Look at my metapod. It's got an oh oh oranberry. Okay. 
Let's take this out. We're going to fight preschooler Mia. We're fighting like a three-year-old. <laughs> She's using a Metapod as well. Come on, Ninhuto. You got this. Peck. Oh, no. At the berry. It's getting health back. Oh, no. Now she's using Harden. I will leave it in the oven to keep it warm. Or I can put it in the fridge to warm up later. If you will be a while. <laughs> Nin Huto grew to level 11. Oh, I want to learn Astonish. Right, let's forget an old... I don't think I want to use Astonish, but let's have a look. Ghost type. Okay. Let's get rid of Growl then. Ta-da! Ninhuto forgot to use Growl and learned Astonished. In Buggo, learn Mud Slap. Metapod, here, have a berry. Right, we only had to beat four people. I'll give you some Oran berries too. They're great to have your Pokemon hold. Thanks. Thanks for that. Metapod looks so cute munching down on Oran berries in the middle of battle. Right. Have you been naughty because you're in the corner facing the wall? I can read here. Watch. Moves have types just like Pokemon. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares, little girl. Nobody cares. Oh, hello. This looks like a very relaxing area. Some items don't do anything unless you give them to a Pokemon to hold. Who are you? Look at your Pokemon. Whether it has whether it has any claws or not now, I would probably get a kick out of one out of this one. What? Quick claw. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Nope, can't leave can't leave that way. I think we can fight the guy on the um this guy over here now. Here we go. Looks like you beat everyone else, huh? Don't think you'll beat me the same way. Ekins' ability is gonna get you. Oh my god, not an Ekins. Not an Ekins! Rising Star Joshua. Joseph. Not Joshua. Joseph. <laughs> Rising Star Joseph. Come on, Ninhuto. Peck. Peck the snake. It's going to bite me. Ow. Oh, dear. What level is that? Level 8. Hmm. 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 Okay. Map's fine. Map's not going to hurt me much. going to risk it. We're going to risk it. Why not use your new move on the snake? Oh, it won't be that good. It's a... Okay, so basically it's a ghost move. Um, because my Pokemon isn't a ghost-type Pokemon, it won't be as effective as if a ghost Pokemon was using it. 
So, and it's not going to be super effective ending on that guy. So I'd rather just use Peck. So any grass move or flying move will will be slightly stronger with this guy using it. Because it matches what type it is. There we go. We got it! Yes. Yeah, it is Debbie. I mean, it's still useful to have a variety of different types of move. Um, but Astonish isn't a great move anyway. It's quite weak. Intimidate is the ability to lower your opponent's attack stat. If you understand your Pokemon's abilities, it's time for a special hydrate. Okay, Eva, this is for you. Eva, thank you for the hydrates. <laughs> Thought it was the same. Oh, a special hydrate on my 15-inch TV. You're back again, Kelly. What can I do for you? But fine, whatever. Worth every drop. <laughs> I can admit it. When I'm beat... I'll give you a reward even. I'll give you... Uh, take this technical machine. Work up. You're... You open the TM. Yeah, okay. What does work up? Okay, first... I know about TMs. Technical machine... Sheet, yeah, they teach them new moves. But if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, that, that then too bad. You're up the creek, pal. Second thing to know about TMs, you can use TMs as many times as you want, on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out and get used up. Pretty nice gift for me, huh? It's great. Kelly, come on, in the way. Oh, that's a school bell. Attention all students, wooden in queso, please come to the office on, on 2F. Ninkeso to the second floor office, please. What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? Well... <laughs> so, <laughs> you did do something. Oh, I'm dying. Are you in trouble? I'd head to the second floor as soon as you can. Right. What do you think I did? Oh, it's a little Meowth. Hey, little Meowth. Meehee. Meh. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Ninkeso, can't believe that you beat all of my students. Fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? You ready to take me on? Uh, can I heal my Pokemon up, please, first? You must be joking. You do know how much experience you could gain from battling me. Yeah, but I want to heal my Pokemon. Jeez. I didn't know it'd be a battle. Hey, guys. Nin Ninhuto isn't very healthy at the moment. <laughs> and it's my best Pokemon. Hey. Kelly, what are you doing? She's being silly. She's going all over the place. Right, let's go beat up the teacher. Hmm. 
Now I'm ready to battle you. Yes, I'm ready. Good. I heard about you, Professor Cuckoo. Cuckooey. <laughs> Cuckooey. Still sounds weird, Cuckooey. I'll be challenging you with a Pokemon that has a type advantage against that Rowlet. Oh. <gasps> That's not fair. Teacher Emily. Hmm. Oh no, it's the Litten. Uh oh. Uh oh. We could be in trouble here. We Oh my god, it's higher level than me as well. We could be in big trouble. <sighs> Sorry, Ninhuto. You're probably going to die. Right, let's have a look. L plus A. See, Astonish has only got a power of 30. So it's not a great move. Whereas if you look at Peck. 35 look. I'm um, going to use Peck. Oh, it's using Ember. Oh, no. Oh, I burned as well. We might have to get um, the wing goal out of storage. I'm just going to let it die. I really am. It's annihilating me. Oh, Nim Nimbuggo is going to get murdered as well. We'll put Nimbuggo in. Yes, this is the plan. We're going to try and hit it with as much mud slap as we can. If we can get a couple of mud slaps in... It should start missing attacks. But it might down me in one flame attack. That's the big problem. Yes, the accuracy falls. The ac if we can get another one of them to hit. Miss, miss, miss. Damn it. Damn it. Nimbuggo. Nimbito, it's all about you. It's all down to you, little buddy. <laughs> it missed. The only miss because I managed to hit it with the um, mud move. If we'd got a few of them in, it would have been really good. Oh, it missed again. Come on, Nimbito. Nimbito for the victory. Oh, God, it burnt me as well. Come on, knock it out, Nimbito. No! Right, we're going to heal up. It needs to miss. It needs to miss me. If it misses me, we can win. If it hits me, we can't. Oh, God. This is so not fair. Yes. Please miss. Please miss. Just needs to miss. Just needs to miss. How many of these have I got? 18. Okay. That kitty is fierce. It is. I just don't have any um, water Pokemon to, like, fight it. It's just really effective against the bug and the bird. And if it keeps hitting me, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. 
If it just misses once, we'll be good. We'll, we will kill it if it misses once. Just need it to miss. Ah, oh, critical hit. Ninbito. You scurry back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Shame we didn't scuttle back. Right, we're going to take the wing goal out. The wing goal is a water Pokemon, so it should be good. Going in with a plan. I'm gonna put an Bugo in first. There we go. I'm gonna go for a Held Eisen. No, actually. A held item. We're gonna give him the Quick Claw. Because the Quick Claw might help it go first. Yes, scuttling would have been better. Give you the quick claw. Um, Nimbito. We're going to give you one of those berries. I'm going to give you that. Okay. Right. I think, we're, I think we're going to annihilate it this time. We're going to absolutely decimate the Litten. <laughs> Imagine if it was like, nah, you lost, that's it. Game over. You can't progress anymore. And I thought we were going to her office. Why are we just standing in the hallway doing this? <laughs> Yes, I'm going to beat you this time. I'm going to beat you with an inch of your life. Okay. So we're going to hit it with like the mud move. Hopefully we can get two in. Hopefully. Please get another one in. <sighs> Rubbish. It's fine. We're going to put Wingold. Oh, Wingold's only level four. <laughs> it's only level four. No. <laughs> this is not good. I thought it was like level six or seven, but no, it's level four. Fine. Fine. It's all good. It's all gravy. I miss, miss. It's alright, it's alright. That's alright. Now we're putting Nimbito in. the berry. <laughs> go, go, seagull. Oh, it missed. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is my chance. Yeah, the seagull was like too low a level to really be effective. It's fine. Kill it. Kill it. Sorry, Nimbito. It missed! <laughs> 
Sensational. Oh, she only gave me 480. Nice. Maybe I'd like to take over as teacher here. Maybe you'd like to take over as a teacher here for me. No. All joking aside, although I do want you to take these from me. A little reward for beating me. Five great balls. Hell yeah. They're great balls. Great balls are better at catching Pokemon than normal balls. Kelly, your bot's in the way. <laughs> oh, it's time for a special hydrate for BP Barlet. Okay, here we go. Ugh. BP Barlet, thank you for the hydrate. Now take the teacher's money. Know your Pokemon. Know their moves. These are the basics of being a trainer. How about it? Greetings, Captain Lilima here. Hello, Captain Lilima. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You looked so very delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Ninkeso, who moved here to the Aloha from the Kanto region. She's got a real sense for how to use moves, and I think she's going to go far as a trainer, yeah? I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenge the island Kahuna. My trial is held in the Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Lilimar. Why has she got two L's at the start of her name? It's like L, L, or is that an I then an L? Is it Ilima? I think it's Ilimo, isn't it? It's I-L-I-M-A. Ilima, not Lilima, Ilima. You can now find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass in... Howley City. No, I think I don't think it is L L I M A. I think it's I L I M A because the first letter is going to be capital. And if it was a capital L, you would have the, like the little bit underneath. So I think it's actually I L I M A. Surely. Perhaps you want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. <laughs> Welsh. I don't think it's Welsh. <laughs> I think it's like Hawaiian. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. Right, we're going to ask Uncle Google this one. Uncle Google. Pokemon Moon. Not Moon. Yeah, it's I... Yeah, it's Ilima. It's with an I first. Yeah, it's I-L-I-M-A. I just want to hear Queso's Welsh pronunciations now. No. Cardiff. There you go. <laughs> I will pull to the folks upstairs about that Taurus blocking the road out front. That guy's Taurus is pretty much a celebrity here on Melly Melly, you know? Devon not Welsh if the game is set in Hawaii. Well, I guess it's time that we dismiss you from school, Ninkeso. Thanks. I was here for half an hour. That's more than enough. Ninkeso has completed her lessons at the trainer's school. Good. I never want to be here again. Be good to your Pokemon! And try to follow through those status conditions too. Good luck with your island challenge. Have fun and give your Pokemon any berries you find. Ninkeso, enjoy your island challenge. And be sure to use the skills you learnt here at training school. I learnt nothing. I already knew all this. Good luck, future champion. 
Make sure you use that TM. Make your Pokemon strongest. Oh my god, okay. Show them what you made, Omnin Queso. Shut up. Welsh people often emigrate to Hawaii, I think. You seem to be in perfect sync with your grubbing, weren't you? Um, since we've come this far together, why don't I show you some more of the city? Come on, there's lots to see. I need to heal up. Ninkeso, over here. You know, I was really impressed seeing how you battled with the Pokemon at the trainer's school. It feels like you're really giving it your all for your Pokemon's sake. I think that's why you were able to save Nebby that time, Ninkeso. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Tauros. Can I battle it? Can I capture it? Can I capture the Tauros? Mooah! <laughs> Mooah. Oh, if it isn't Lily and Ninkeso. Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time to get old Taurus back home. Oh, but I've got an idea. Why not give him a little pat, Ninkeso? Are you going to pat the big old Taurus? I bet my chasse is a hundred times smoother. Where will you try patting Tauros? <laughs> Pet its face. <laughs> Grab it by the tail. I want to grab it by the tail, but I know that's going to be the wrong one. <laughs> hmm. That doesn't seem to improve Taurus, but impress Taurus very much. Pet its face. Ha ha ha, you see that? This rascal already loves you. <laughs> I've just pulled its tail first though. Pokemon become happier when we show them some care. <laughs> it should have like gored me to death if I'd grabbed it by its tail. Wahahaha. <laughs> oh, the places you'll go, child. And as you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. The Kahunas sure are something, eh? Able to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Taurus plenty and all, but it's pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. I do. <laughs> I want to ride Taurus. So where are you two off to now? I was thinking I should show Ninkeso around Huwali City a bit. Hawali City? Hawali? I think it's probably Hawali. Nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. Ninkeso, just got here in Aloha, huh? Then let me tag along too. I want to get something good to eat. Can I heal up, please? All right, let's all go together. Then what are we waiting for? This way, come on. <laughs> Hello, pathetic wolf. <laughs> oh dear. Oh how. I guess we should go catch up with him before he gets too far, in case so. <laughs> no, that that it's L I L L I E. I'm pronouncing it Lily. Hawali City is the biggest city in Alola. Right. I can smell the sea breeze. Right, I'm going to go back and heal. I'm going to get rid of my wing goal because I don't want it anymore. Yeah, heal me up. Heal me up! Thank you. Those look like capitals. Capitalized to me. Nah, -uh. Why would you have a capital in the middle of your name? She must be Welsh as well. <laughs> right. Wingo. Get out my party. Go live in the box with Caterpie. Cool. You go back there. Awesome. Oh. 
Right, let's go catch some more Pokemon. I like, I do like the map at the, as well, so you get to see where we're going. That's nice. Oh my god, look at the size of this city. It's like cars and everything. See, thing is, I don't associate cars with Pokemon. You're going to get cold dressed like that. <laughs> so are you. You're going to get cold too. Beach time. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you. You come to Aloha from someplace far off, haven't you? I can tell. Is that because I look weird? Then let me teach you the proper way to greet someone in Alola. Holla? Alola. You give it a try too. Just like that. Alola. You'll make more friends if you say it. I don't want friends. Um, how old are you so big? Let's just walk around. You'll be doing the walking. Wow. Look at this place. It's amazing. Alola, you are here on vacation, young friend, or are you perhaps a trial goer? Guess I'm a trial goer. <laughs> well, you are most welcome to Alola either way. In fact, why don't you take this? I feel like she would have said that no matter what I said. You have not met it yet. Come on. Enjoy Howoli. How enjoy Alola. And most of all, enjoy Pokemon. Kelly, what are you doing? It's tacking something on the on the window. Here we go. Slime climb for LJ. Slime climb. It's a climb, a climb to avoid the slime. And don't fall in. Slowpoke really has his own tempo, huh? It's never confused by other Pokemon's moves. It's too slow to get confused, or to take a hint. Leave me alone already, would you, Slowpoke? You're welcome, Debbie. I don't want to talk to all these people on the beach. Oh, Pokeball. No, we can't go swimming. Right, let's just carry on down here. Oh, please, please go up here. Act natural, act natural, everyone. Hey, 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 Ninkeso. I thought I recognised the sound of those feet. Are you saying I have, like, distinctive feet? So, what do you think? Hawali is something, eh? Aloha's got to be the best place ever to live. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ninkeso, come in here with me. I've got a good idea of something you could do. I'm going to let me buy clothes. Hey, miss, is it true that you got get some kind of special gifts if you have a Rotom Dex? My goodness, you get the news fast. Hardly anyone has Rotom Dex. But it is true that we have a special item to go with it. It's our very own Pokey Finder. Here you go. You don't want to see my Pokédex first. Awesome. Isn't that awesome, Ninkeso? You get a Pokey Finder. What's it do? So, like, what's a Pokey Finder? <laughs> the Pokey Finder is a tool that lets you take photos of Pokémon. Rotom will help point out places where you'll be able to take photos too. Here, I'll read the instruction manual. Tap on the Rotom or press R. Yep, that's all it says. Quite simple, isn't it? Man, the Rotom Dex is cool. It's like a whole nother partner. In case so, I mean, on top of your Pokemon partner. Oh, but I guess since the Rotom's inside, it's pretty much a Pokemon partner. <laughs> Either way, you're pretty darn lucky. 
Meet you outside when you're done in here. Great. The photos you snap with of Pokemon with a Pokefinder, they are simply too cute to resist. Thanks. The TV hanging on the wall is showing a promotional video for the Aloha region. Is that it? Ooh, can I buy hats? I want to buy a hat. There are plenty of local goods and souvenirs. Bursting with a special low in spirit. I want to buy the hat. <laughs> so that's 10 Carrot Hill. Apparently only locals are allowed to go in. I wonder what kind of Pokemon live up there. Don't know. This is the Lotto ID Center. If your draw matches... If your draw number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you can win a fabulous prize. Yes. Would you please save the game before drawing? Yes. Nine five three nine seven. Ah, oh, we didn't win. There's nothing wrong with being proud of the great shots you get with the Pokey Finder. Rotten will tell you whether it notices you're in a place where. Okay. Right, let's go. I think there's a place right next to here where we can take photos. Ninkeso, how did you visit the tourist bu bureau? How was it? Why has he got his hands behind his head? It's hop all over again, isn't it? We got her Rossum deck upgraded. Now it can take pictures too. What a wonderful helper you are, Rossum. Huh? <laughs> ah ha ha ha. What, what was that for, Rossum? Go and put that little trickster back in your bag in case so and follow me. Enough feasting for the eyes. It's time we take care of our stomachs. Maybe Rotten wanted to get your attention because he wants to take photos with you. I think I'll go stop by the apparel shop to do some shopping of my own. Yeah, that's where I want to go. I want to buy new clothes. Yo, trainer. Look what you've got. What? Who are you? Who are you? You lucky kid. If you've got a pokey finder, then I guess I'll give you a little tip. See that spot where the wall is cracked? That's a photo spot right there. Look at that. Your Rotom there is trying to tell you to give it a give him a tap. Tap me when the icon changes on the map and we can start snapping some photos. Firing up the Pokey Finder. Use the circle pad to move the camera around. Got it, kiddo? Press the camera button to take the photo, but you gotta be quick. Man. Pika? You can take up to six photos each time you fire at the Pokey thing. Can we zoom? I wanna zoom in. What's that do? Um, oh, we can use R to do it as well. There we go. I'm bored now. No. <laughs> you want to take a close look? You want to close? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's no Pokemon Snap, is it? I hear it's best to try photographing Pokemon head on and zoomed in as close as possible. How do you zoom in? See, yes, I want to see if I can zoom in. No, I don't think we, I don't know if I can zoom in. No, no button I'm pressing is zooming in. Okay. We're done. We're done with that gimmick forever. Well, what do you think? Did you enjoy the Pokey Finder? Um, I want the option to say no, I didn't. It's kind of tricky. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I bet you'll get used to it in no time. 
Let's keep exploring. Right, I want to go to the... There we go. What's that glowy thing there? Oh, Ninkeso, tell me, do you pick out your own clothes? I'm 11. I don't really get a lot of say. <laughs> My mum does it. <laughs> Oh, your mother must have great sense of style then. Yeah, you wait to see what I'm going to end up wearing. I love the way that you dress. I've always just worn the clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. So do I. I don't really know. Where is your mum anyway? Why are you staying at the professor's house? Where's your mother? I don't really know what kind of thing would suit me. Oh, but that's not why I stopped you. I meant to give you these, Ninkeso. I received them inside the apparel shop here. I didn't even buy anything, but they said I was the 999,999 the 99, customer to visit the store. But I already have the same set, so I thought that maybe you want them. We've got a lens case. we got a makeup bag. It looks like you have something in common. It looks like we have something in common now, don't we, in case so? He. <laughs> She's turned into a stalker. Right. We're going into the shop. Surely I'm the millionth customer now. Surely that must be worth something more. Buy. Right, what are we going to buy? White shirt. Black shirt. These are all pretty boring. V-neck t-shirts. No, I'm not really feeling the V-necks. Tank tops. That's more me. <laughs> oh, surfing tank top. Yes. Black tank top. If you'd like to change, feel free to use any of the nearby fitting rooms. Are you seriously telling me I can only wear shorts? I want to wear long shorts. Hmm. We'll go with the pleated shorts. Cheesy tank top. Socks. Okay, over knee socks. Through socks, no. Over, black over the knee socks, there we go. Yes, that's me. No shoes are available. No bags are available. Yeah, we'll buy a trilby. Oh my god, that's expensive. Okay, we're good. Let's go change. Where's there's a fitting room? Oh, we can do we can change other stuff as well. Right. What's that one? Nah, we'll we'll go with that. Vacation hat. No, we're going for the black trilby hat. Do you know what? I don't even want a hat on. Check the mirror. And there, we've updated your ID to capture the most up-to-date look. Awesome. Um, I want to change my colour contacts. Um, blue. Yeah, we'll take we'll take blue eyes. Right, let's change the lipstick colour as well. Lip colour. Nude pink, coral orange, bright pink, summer red, deep burning, the icy blue. I wanted black lipstick. Um 
Icy blue, maybe? I don't like the way we can't see. Ooh, that's a bit freaky. There we go. I'm going through my goth phase. Right, where are we going? Okay, maybe we can find some new Pokemon in here. Here we go, we've got a battle. Um, Laffy Sub Day, thank you so much for the follow. Hmm. A Mime Junior. I really don't want to have to, like, catch this, but, you know, we need one. This definitely isn't going to be a party Pokemon. <laughs> Just going to knock it out. She's still being super cute on the desk. <laughs> oh, I forgot to catch it. <laughs> I forgot to catch it. I just killed it. <laughs> oh, Ninhuto went up. Ninbito went up as well. Uh, any other Pokemon around here? Let's have a look. Oh, we need a Meowth. We need a Meowth on our squad. <laughs> Look at her feet. What are you doing, Kelly? You're destroying everything. You off. Bye. <laughs> okay, what are we going to call the Meowth? It's a little boy Meowth. Is this Nimfento? <laughs> Is this Meowth Nimfento? Meowth. Your basic Pokemon. Ooh. Yes, I do want to give it a nickname. Ah, oh, sausage chops, jelly belly, Kelly, squidgy, roly poly. There we go, Ninfento. Ninfento was added to my party. Cool. Caution: wet paint. Oh, so I can't go through there because it's wet paint. Great. Yeah, an invento. Oh, there's Poke Center. We need to go there anyway. What are all these stickers everywhere? Yeah, these things. It's like fire hazard. Greetings, Captain Ilima here. So you spotted me sticking up one of my of these lovely stickers, have you? That's a sticker. <laughs> oh yes. If young trial uh, trial goers collect these collect these stickers as they travel and follow the path they indicate, they will quite laterally progress along their island challenge. I'm in the pub. Probably not a good idea, but hey ho. Oh well, it's okay from time to time, Gemma. Ready? Really, if I had to describe them, I would say these stickers really save trial goers like you. So we need to collect all these. But I cannot let my guard down. Those Team Skull thugs have far too much time on their hands and they're always trying to get in the way of trainers on their island challenge. 
I have to keep an eye on them to be sure they don't take down my stickers. <laughs> I've actually just had a report that Team Skull was seen making trouble around town. Yes, get everyone in the pub to follow Ninkeso. And at least four of them to subscribe. <laughs> actually, we need... We need we need 14 of them to subscribe. <laughs> then we'll get another emote. I suppose I should have a look. Well then, young Ninkeso, I hope you'll have a delightful time running about in search and search out and collect totem stickers. Collecting totem stickers sounds like fun. You gently peeled off a totem sticker. You got it. Yay. So it's alright for me to peel them off, but not for Team Skull. Oh, what a motley crew I've got now. Oh, Kelly's on the floor with two little mice. Not real mice, toy mice. And she's just rubbing her head against them. <laughs> oh, now she's gone over to a kickaroo. Now she's rubbing her head on the kickaroo. <laughs> What's in here? It's a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. What is it? What is it? What is it? Do we need it? It's a Ferufuro. I'm in the mold mine frame for drinking. Gemma, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> thank you for the hydrate, Gemma. Okay. I think this one might be Nindebo. <laughs> if we catch it. I've never even seen this Pokemon before in my life. Yeah, just, just have a non-alcoholic drink. Then maybe don't drink then, Gemma. Because that would just amplify things. Stop using sand attack. Right, let's try a ball. Kelly's being funny. Furfru was caught. I've never seen this Pokemon before in my life, a Furfru. What is this? What is a Furfru? I'm going to read the Pokemon decks. Uh, left alone, its fur will grow longer and longer, but it will only allow someone it trusts to cut it. Let's give this doggy a nickname. Kelly, what are you doing? You're being silly. There we go. Ninjemo. Gemmo, you got a Pokemon named after you. And it's a doggy Pokemon. You like doggies, don't you? <laughs> Ninjemo. What are you doing, you nutcase?
Can we go in this guy's pool? Oh, we have to be able to go in the pool. The sticker, there's a sticker in the pool. Oh, we need a fishing rod. Where do we get a fishing rod from? How do you stick a sticker in the pool anyway? <laughs> oh, there's one. Sneaky. Oh, stretchy time. Oh my god, it's a machamp. Hey, machamp. Champ. Has anyone in here got a fishing rod? Any friend of my son's is welcome here. Stay as long as you'd like. Oh, are you, are you Howl's dad? Hmm. This, this place is huge. Oh, we can't go in any of these doors. That's fine. Machamp here is a great helper. Sometimes Pokemon are good at things that people aren't. And the opposite is true too. I just broken into some guy's room. Oh, it's a sticker. Look at that. Stickers everywhere. Right, we need we need to keep eagle eyes out for stickers. Let's talk to the lady in the far corner. She must have something useful to say. Would you care for a little treat from a far off region, dear? A luminous uh, gelette. Okay. It's a kind of pastry from a region where my um, Ilima went to study abroad. It's her favourite, you see. Ilima gained a captainship because he he. I didn't realise that he excludes pure skill. Seeing him is like looking at myself back on stage and in the spotlight again. I didn't realise Illumin was a boy. What is it, Kelly? She's like, sat right in front of me now. Right, who's got a fishing rod for me? A nice cold Pokemon here in hot, hot Aloha. I can't think of a more pleasant combination. Petting a fluffy Pokemon is pretty much the best feeling ever. I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. If you cuddle with your Pokemon using Pokemon Refresh, then they'll try harder for you in battle. You can even help them shake off nasty stasis conditions like poisoning. Oh, it's the ball again. Yeah, I thought it was a girl. Me too. Mwah! Ninkeso, you stand back. Old Kahuna Hala will take care of this Ornitos. <laughs> Why don't you take a stroll around Holala? So I don't wanna wanna carry on with the quest. Fine, we'll take a stroll. Strolling, strolling, strolling. In case so is a strolling. You can heal your Pokemon of effects like poisoning and treat them with medicine. I know. Okay, we can't go through there. Oh, what building is this? City Hall. Oh, there's a sticker. There we go. We can go up this way to get the sticker. I'm guessing we're going to need to go into City Hall. <laughs> what are you looking at, Kelly? She's just like staring into at the desk. Oh my. Looks like our berry stock is getting a bit low. I'd better put in another order for delivery from the berry fields. Thanks for telling me that. Yes, yes. I'll need some in identification. I need some identification, please. Do you have a trainer passport? Oh, so you're Ninkeso. 
Yes, I remember preparing your trainer passport. Kelly wants a boop. She's in a funny mood. I don't know what's up with her. Um, for you. Of course, Professor Cuckoo Cuckooey asked me to. You come from Kanto, didn't you? Is it true that Meowth and Kanto are different from Meowth here in Alola? It's one of the jobs of the city hall to maintain the roads and make sure there is space for any ride Pokemon to travel along them to. I want to ride along Pokemon. Oh, look at the sticker. She sees a ghost, maybe. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Ribbons. They're like a way to warp your Pokemon up in precious memories for perpetuity. I've heard that there are a lot of different kinds of ribbons in other regions outside of a lower. Pew pew pew. Right. There's so many other people. Oh, there's too many people to talk to. Let's just carry on with our quest. Okay, she's settled down now anyway. police it's the police act natural in this city we're proud to live together with pokemon and that's why we have so many patches of tall grass right here in the city young ilima and his smurgle are always working hard to keep the gates around the grass looking tip top as well captains should be responsible types after all how's it ninkeso if you're looking for good eats you found them Plus, uh, Molassasas makes your Pokemon like you, and affectionate Pokemon are better in battle. Who could resist giving their Pokemon a few Molassasas, <laughs> eh? They're just so cute. Yo, 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 check it. Whenever, whenever we meet you, Team Skull didn't even greet you. Oh no, it's Team Skull. Team Skull, everyone. Oh, they've got synchronized dance moves as well. Yo, you want to throw us a bone and hand over those island challenge amulets to us now? Oh, you're part of Team Skull, huh? All you guys do is steal totem stickers and people's Pokemon and get in the way of other people's island challenges. You know it. We hate the island challenge, yo, and every kid fool enough to try it. Yo, let's check these fools. Ninkeso, come on. Let's teach these Team Skull jerks. <gasps> Language in a Pokemon game. Not to get in the way of anybody's island challenge. What are they doing? I'm going to get you. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna get you you know it <laughs> the new enemies are so lame team rocket is the best team magma and team um whatever the other one was weren't too bad but yeah like, like in the latest one team yell and they're not even bad they're just like trying to cheer on someone it's just like what <laughs> Let's teach these team jerks not to get in the way of any island challenge. Okay, what do I need to press? Here we go. Oh dear. Right, let's do this. What is it, Kelbell? Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Ninhuto. Mm. I think Team Skull is pretty cool. You would Fensaurus. You just like disagreeing with the popular opinion of everyone. No, it's using Astonish. 
Oh my god, I'm so astonished. <laughs> okay, Zubat's gone. Grew to level Ninfento grew to level eight. <laughs> For real? Over already? We took their money though. <laughs> no fair. I was playing a different game. <laughs> you were playing Halo. <laughs> oh <dear. clears throat> um, let's get up. Let's get up out this port, B. Nobody has to know about this. We don't need your whack little amulets anyway. Wouldn't even take them if you gave them to us. <laughs> Those team skull jerks really must have too much time on their hands. But keeping other people from doing their island challenge isn't going to make it like they managed to finish theirs, you know. I already went down to the marina and... And... <laughs> and screamed out over the ocean. Watch out, world! Beefy Violet, this is for you. Beefy Violet, thank you for the hydrate. I'm a real cat. This is for you. Oh, one button. One button. There we go. God, I got it wrong. I'm a real cat. Thank you for the hydrate. Ah, oh dear. Right. Watch out, world. Someday I'm going to beat even my old gramps in an all-out serious battle. Did you really shout that out to the ocean? Because that's weird. So maybe I'll go try and find some more totem stickers next. See you around. What a lovely battle you showed us there against Team Skull. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal the hill your team to express my gratitude thanks thanks for that i must admit i've been wondering about i've been wondering about you since i saw you at the trainer's school professor kukui brought me along and you and your pokemon seem to defeat our teacher so effortlessly yeah i mean it only took two attempts very well then allow me to see if you're ready for my trial okay I'm fighting you now as well. Behold the magnificent Pokemon, the one and only of the one and only Captain Illimar. Uh oh, we're fighting Captain Illimar. Oh no, not a Yangus! Come on, Ninhuto. What levels are you? Level 10. Oh, okay, okay. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We'll peck it. We'll peck it good. <laughs> so, so angry. We're going to peck it again. Ah, peck it. Peck it real good. That actually quite hurt. That, like, did quite a bit of damage. <laughs> Don't you dare critical hit me. Ooh. No! This Yangoose is pretty tough. 
Can we take it out? Can we take it out? Oh, that's unfair. No fair. Fine, two can play at that game, young young lad. <laughs> Ouch. That hit big. Come on, critical hit, critical hit. What level do they evolve at? Um, starter Pokemon normally evolve around level 16, their first evolve. So, but I'm not 100% sure when Rowlet is. If you ask Uncle Google, Uncle Google will know. <laughs> Uncle Google knows all. No! Ninhuto! Come on, Ninbito, you can do this. Some badger on badger action here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Nimbito did it, everyone. Nimbito's now level 10. Ooh, learn sand attack as well. Okay, what's your other Pokemon? Smurgle. Okay, I'm going to switch Pokemon here. We're going to pour Nimbuggo in. What level is your Smurgle? Your Smurgle, whatever you pronounce it. Level 11. Oh my god. Right, we're going to try and mud slap it a bit. This could be bad. No. Right. Okay. We're going to whack Nimbito in. We're going to do some sand attacks, I think. Nimbito! Okay, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. <sighs> Let's use Ninjemo. <laughs> Come on, Ninjemo. So we're going to go for sand attacks. Okay, that's alright. If we can get a few sand attacks in, we should... We should be okay. So sand attack will lower the accuracy of their attacks. So once we've got like four, four or five hits, level 17 for Ninhuto. I said it was around level 16 normally. Hopefully it should start missing soon. Yes. Now we can start attacking. No. Hopefully it'll miss a few of these. Oh, it's not missing. It's rubbish. Come on, Ninjemo. We missed. No, I didn't mean to sand attack. It's fine. We'll sand attack again.
Don't you dare heal it. Don't you dare use a heal item. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hello again, Kelly. <laughs> Oh, Ninjemo grew to level 9. Ninjemo learned baby doll eyes. You, or should I say your Pokemon, make quite the interesting team. I do hope you'll come to um, Verdant Cabin and attempt the trial. The trial of Illimar. You can get there from Route 2. That Rotom Dex of yours will show you the way. I bid you a Lola. Oh, yay, you beat the captain. Don't stop now, kid. Keep moving while you got momentum. Thanks. Thanks for that. Oh, there's a sticker down there, look. I wonder how many of these stickers I need. There's a Pokeball down here somewhere. We've got a tiny mushroom. Didn't really want to get into a fight. <laughs> Most of my Pokemon are quite unhealthy. Right, we do need to catch this. I don't want it, but we need to catch it. Oh, it's Ninfento. Scratch Ninfento, or do you want to bite? Actually, bite. Bite Ninfento, bite. That was pretty good. Cool. We got it. Ninfento grew to level 9. Learned Fake Out as well. Mine Junior. Gemma, get cheered. Gemma that's not I'm true sorry, at all, is it? One button. That's it's not true at all. Time. Stop being Three, silly. Four, five, You're six, a seven, very, seven, very, very good person. But thank you for the bits. When this gifted mimic um, surprises an opponent, Mime Junior feels so happy that it ends up forgetting it was um, imitating something. Nope, we don't want a nickname. And you are a good person. If you weren't a good person, why would I name a Pokemon after you? Hmm? Look. Look. Where are we? Ninjemo. <laughs> there you go, look. It's a very tiny screen. But there's Ninjemo, look. Uh. The little doggy one. <laughs> and yes, Ninfento. <laughs> we have a Ninfento Pokemon. Okay, we can't go in there yet because there's a big scary Pokemon outside. Any stickers? Nope. Right. sticker up here. Look at this. Okay. Exactly, Fentasaurus. Let's get all the Pokemon healed, because a lot of them are unconscious.
Right, we're going to put Mime Jr. in the, in the PC because I don't want to lug him about with me. Right, Mime Jr., get in there. Where is Nimbipo? We haven't caught a Nimbipo yet. We need to find out if there are Mareep in the game. Ask Uncle Google, are Mareep in Pokemon Moon? Ultra Moon. And if so... I'll do it now, I'll do it. Wait, you already have an Infento. Which one? Uh, you're the um, Pokemon Moon. Meowth. Mareep. Yeah, okay. BP Barlet, there are Mareep on the second island. So once we're there, we'll catch a Mareep and we'll call it Nimbipo. You're the Alo uh, Nin Ninfento is the Aloan, Aloan Meowth. <laughs> Woo, Ninfento, Meowth. Yeah, but it's like a, it looks different from a normal Meowth. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. Oh dear. But you, you're moving on to your first trial. You're going to Verdant Cavern. We, we're not going to get there today, but we might get there tomorrow. I read something in an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Kuku. The people in Iki Town said that Tapu Kuku loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapu Kuku once more, do you think we would find the answers to why it saved you and, and Nebby that day? <laughs> Poo! <laughs> oh yes, please take these. They are called revives. If if you use one on a Pokemon that has fainted, it will recover and feel and feel a little better. Ninkeso, good luck on your first trial. I will hope that it goes well for you. Come on, kid, let's head to Route 2. I'm heading. There, Ninkeso. I got this orny creature calmed down. Hornery? For now. Want to try giving him a little pet again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Come on, Ninkeso. Try saying Taurus a bit of affection. Grab it by the horns. <laughs> Moo. Maybe old Taurus here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems ha Oh, it likes being grabbed by the horns. Okay. And yet, it still seems like... Uh, Taurus wants to stretch his own legs on his own island challenge. Ha! Huh. It's off. What? You want me to play tag now? The Melamela Kahuna never loses. Friend. Oh, here we go. Look at them all. Why is that one like... Oh, something's going for me. Oh, it's an Ekins. We do need to catch the Ekins, but we're probably not going to give it a name. I don't particularly want Ekins in my party. Wrapping me up. Right. Pokeball. Catch the Ekins. Okay. 
Yeah, it's an Eakins. Uh, I do not want to give it a nickname, no. We've still been charged at by that Pokemon, yes. <laughs> this Pokemon charged at me. It says Neekins again. <laughs> Rubbish. Come on, Ninhuto. It's a level 10 Eakins. No. Oh, that did hardly anything. Ow, it bit me. It bit me. Oh, that was rubbish. Not very effective. They didn't say it wasn't very effective. Not very effective. It does say not very effective, look. <laughs> Duh. Right, let's get out of this tall grass. It seems to be full of snakes. Sorry, Ekins. Ninjemo grew to level 10. Careful out there, young trainer. Haven't you seen the way the tall grass shakes on Route 2? That rustling grass hides a Pokemon that is dying to pounce on some easy trainer target. But battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. Awesome. Hey. Welcome, trial goer. Think you can handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty? Yes, yes, I can. I like the way Ninhuto turns his head to look behind. It's cute. I've not noticed, actually. Oh, it's cutie fly. The cutie fly. It's absorbing me. How dare you? It little thing. Wow, I bet you can finish any trial. Well, you only had one Pokemon, you know. You allowed six. I never understand why the trainers only ever have one Pokemon. It's a sturdy looking rock. Maybe a powerful Pokemon could break it. I thought it looked like. What's up with you? Many trainers visit our cemetery where Pokemon rest to pay their respects. It's a Pokemon cemetery. That's pretty dark. When I come to the Pokemon cemetery, it's no good because I get so mournful. Okay. <laughs> Office worker Jeremy. Look at him. Hey, Jeremy. A picky peck. Oh, no, not a picky peck. Douche. I think we're going to need to change the lineup soon so that 
Captain Huto isn't at the front. Ouch. This picky pack is pretty tough. No match for me though. I like the name Picky Pack. <laughs> oh, level 14. Razor Leaf, yes. We're definitely forgetting an old move to learn Razor Leaf. Uh, let's get rid of Leafage. Razor Leaf is much, much better. Ninfento grew to level 10. Right, let's change the Pokemon about a bit. Ninfento. We can put... Let's put Ninfento up front. got a big mushroom. Wee wee it's a battle a battle. Fighting another little kid aren't we? Preschooler. Yes. Preschooler Malia. Oh it's a bonzi. Not a bonzi. What is it? I can't even remember what it's called. It's a baby chancy isn't it? A happeny. It's a happeny. Come on, Ninfento. Scratch its eyes out. <laughs> Actually, we'll fake out first. Fake out's a good to use first minute go. Because it makes them flinch so they can't do anything. Sorry, happeny. Nimbito grew to level 11. Nimbuggo grew to level 10. Nimbuggo learned bite. Eakins learned bite as well. I don't even want Eakins in my team. <laughs> Why are you still in my team, Eakins? Because I haven't been back to the thingy. Right, I think we'll finish exploring the graveyard here. We'll head back to the um, Pokemon Center. Put Eakins into storage. And then heal up. And I think that'll be it. A Drifloon. I've never seen this Pokemon. Is it? Oh, this isn't going to go well. Right, Fake Out should work. No, it's not going to work, is it? No, oh, it's not going to work because it's a ghost. Stupid, stupid thing, Queso. Need to bite it. Because biting works on ghosts. Yeah, super effective as well. Okay, we're not we're not catching the drift loon. Oh, it's getting chilly. I need to close my window. TM hundred. Confide. Okay, so we'll fight this lady here. I'll use the moves it was so good at. Pokemon Breeder. Iku? Iku? Ikui? <laughs> Whoever it is, they've sent out Pikachu. A little girl Pikachu too. Oh, the classic battle of all time. Pikachu versus Meow. No, oh, I'm paralyzed. Uh oh. Uh oh, thunder shock. Thunder, thunder, thundercats. Okay, that's cool. 
Pikachu! Right, let's let's take out. Um, right, let's put Ninjemo up front. There we go. Right. Let's just look around the last bit here. Okay, it's just just some tall grass. Cool. Right, back to the Poke Center, I believe. There's like there's fences there. That's what I wanted. Okay, heal up. And take Ekins out of the party before we go on. Badum, badum. Ekins, get out of my party. Get in the box. Yeet Yoda, welcome. Bad timing, I'm just about to finish, but welcome. Right, to save this. I don't know why I'm saving it like this. This doesn't work at all. Yes. Okay, what we have to save, we have to save it up here. Where do we save? Okay, save state. Let's save that there. There we go. It's saved. Right, that is going to be it for Pokemon Ultra Moon today. We're playing it again tomorrow, same time. So 3 o'clock start UK time for about 4 hours. I'm going to be back on in about an hour for Marbles. It is Marble Saturday. So hopefully I'll see you there. Um... Let's have a look, see if there's anyone to raid. Oh, what have I done? I can't even bring my raid thing up. Oh. No, this is really annoying me now. Bring this over there. There we go. There we go. How do I get rid of this? This is so annoying. It's like I can see where it says raid, but I can't click on it for some reason. Let's just put you over here for now. Why wouldn't it let me click on... Right, let's just get rid of that. I don't... Oh, this is so weird. Right. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to be able to raid because I can't get my raid thing to work. And I don't know why. That's just chat settings. Just refresh the page. That might help. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Right, is there anyone to raid? Um. Mm, bum, 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 bum. Oh, let's go say hello to Pathetic Wolf. Why not? Right, so yeah. Like I say, I'm back on again in an hour for some marbles. Hopefully, I'll see you there. If not, Enjoy the rest of your day, your night, your evening, your afternoon, depending on what time it is in the part of the world where you are from. And I'll see you all soon. Raid starts after the song. Bye for now.
Thanks for coming to see my stream Sad to tell you I've got to go Grab your hat and head for the door In case you didn't notice, there ain't yes, any more Yes you did Violet, you if beat you me If like my stream, tell everyone but If you think it stinks, keep your big mouth shut I'm glad you came, but I have to shout Adios, au revoir, be the same, ta-ta-ta, goodbye Get lost, get out Stream's over, apart from the raid Happening now, button's been pressed See you over there <laughs>